Episode 2, The Legality of Magic. Okay. Uh, welcome back, everybody, to Episode 2 of Valor Live. I will be your GM as once again for this session. My name is Zachary Mayer. I am a voice actor. You could probably hear me uh, as the role of Sylvester Ashling in Epithet Race, as well as various other projects of indie games and animations all across the internet. Uh, I'm also going to use this excuse as my sound test to make sure my levels are coming in at a good volume here on the Twitch while we also get uh, everybody else's levels. The next person I see on the Twitch is uh, Francesca. So if you want to introduce yourself and get yeah. your levels. Hi, everyone. Um, my name is Francesca Callo. I'm a voice actor and actor in New York City. Um, you can hear me on Pokemon, Sun and Moon. You can hear me on Regal Academy, Archive 81, um, some other projects around the uh, around the internet and what, I don't know. TV, whatever. Anyway, so I'm playing uh, Kaylin Lau, who is the second on the right. Yay. All right, next, Paul, you are up. Hi, everybody. My name is Paul Green Dennis. I am a voice actor and a classical musician, opera singer, based out of New York, Long Island, Brentwood, New York. Um, Q on the music right on Q. <laughs> I forgot about and, that. <laughs> and um, I am the role of Phase on Black, the tallest guy you can see in the picture, all the way to the right. Bringing you live jazz from Q, <laughs> from <laughs> Q 103. Oh, it's just like yeah. this thing, Paul is here, the one bringing the music, even though I forgot. Anyways, <laughs> uh, Tamara, you are up. Hi, everyone. Uh, I'm Tamara Fritz. I'm a voice actor as well. Um, you can hear me in games like Wargroove and Warframe and various other games with war in the title. I'm still working at World of, World of Warcraft. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, uh, I uh, am based in Ohio and I'm happy to be here. Okie dokie, and last but certainly not least, we have finally completed our full party. Everybody, please give a warm welcome back to Lily. Yeah. <laughs> Lily, would you like to tell us a little bit about yourself? Um, hi, I'm Lily Lammers. I'm a voice actor in Los Angeles, and I am recently a voice actor without their appendix. <laughs> Very glad about that. Um, you can hear me yelling in the background. You won't be able to hear that it's me, but I'm there. <laughs> I'm Hunter Hunter, and welcome to Demon School Aruma Kun, as well as indie games like Chronicon and A Field of Flowers and Stars. And I'm really glad to be here. I missed everyone last week so much. And I play uh, Bren Breyer, and she's the fencing one. <laughs> We're definitely going to get our taste of Bryn, since we definitely miss uh, miss Bryn for the last uh, part of the episode. Glad to know that she's back. Uh, well, I'd like to also take the opportunity to shout out everybody behind the scenes. There is, of course, uh, Austin, who is uh, one of the co-writers for the, uh, for the system you are going to be seeing, uh, the Valor Heroic RPG system. Uh, he's thrown all this together. He's done so much behind the scenes. Uh, please, uh, Follow him if he wants to go ahead and post his uh, information in the chat, along with Charu, who works behind the scenes streaming and putting up all the overlay, making sure all of our cameras work and that you guys can see everything crystal clear. It's not an easy job, as well as our artist uh, behind the scenes, uh, Six, who was responsible for a lot of the character art you've seen for our PCs, as well as Hart Butler, who uh, is responsible for a lot of the NPC art and has worked very hard and uh, just uh, pushing pushing through a lot of my bad descriptions and a lot of the stuff I tossed to her. But they work great. They do a lot of good stuff. Please follow them. I believe we're getting their stuff into the uh, chat hopefully soon. Um, there's not too many other announcements I need to make other than please, uh, whenever you get the chance, if you love what we do on the show, go check out ValorousGames.com so you could check out the system and uh, be up to date with any announcement and blog posts that go up on that site. As well as check us out if you want a PDF copy, you can certainly find it on DriveThruRPG. And with that, I think I just need to recap what happened last time. So 
Last time on Valor Live, Gemma, Faison, and Catelyn came together for a late night sting to bust a Chimera trading operation. The party gained the trust of the Chimera dealer, Chimera dealer Ivy by making Ivy reminisce into the past, along with the joys and heartaches of family life with, be with a beloved pet. Ivy showed off her little surprise by bringing not a household chimera, but a wild and feral chimera more reminiscent of a magical beast. The party uh, swiftly apprehended her and her lackeys while turning them and the chimera over to law enforcement and animal services. The party regrouped back at the guild hall where they took the chance to celebrate Cal Callan's first job. Uh, the to the party's surprise, they received another job specifically requesting them. Even Callan, despite only making his debut. The call came from a politician named Esther Satari who wanted to recruit the party to pull a, pl a publicity stunt at the museum, but was talked down, rightly so, to call it off and just stick to what uh, they do best, historical retellings and community support, as well as pulling the party in to also give their accounts. Even with the stunt called off, a mass group of assailants stormed the museum, making an attempt to steal an important historical piece along with Esther themselves. We shortly stopped right before the battle could reach its conclusion. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and switch back over. Ooh. Um, this is a music that uh, didn't, oh, this is the wrong one. <laughs> this is the right one. Ah, uh, yes, the other. <laughs> the I other thought we were going to have like a little calm chat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 20 minutes passed and we found yeah, a way no. to talk things through. We <laughs> already killed like that. two of them. <laughs> Yikes. I'm going to go ahead and pull you guys back. Did I close the turn order? I sure did close the turn order. I see it open. Yeah, it's open on mine. Uh, can let's see, see. We just need to... Uh, can everybody see everything clearly? Perfect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. There is one thing missing, though. We gotta fix that. Um, oh, yeah. I imagine as shortly through the door, we see someone storm through. Hey, Lily. Oh, no. <laughs> Why don't we hear what's going through Bryn's head as she storms back onto the scene of what's going on? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> um, she's probably also nervously laughing. She's like, oh my god, 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 I missed the thing, and then I missed this, and then I missed that, and then I missed this, and then I was wearing my hero costume, that thing, and no one else is wearing their hero costume, was I not supposed to, but I was <laughs> Going a mile a minute. Bryn, let's go ahead and get you on the turn order. Uh, yeah. Go ahead and click your token while pulling up your character sheet and rolling the initiative button. Okay. Wait. I clicked it, but I didn't click the token. Oh no! I'm learning with everyone. <laughs> it's it's okay. Uh, you rolled maximum though, so <laughs> you know what? Nice. That would put you right next to Phazon because we didn't get to see you last time. Let's have you lead with the <laughs> honors. <laughs> yeah. You don't get to cheat off of everybody else going first. I'm throwing you right into the thick of it. <laughs> You're the little devil on my shoulder. <laughs> uh, so Bryn, how would you like to spend your turn? <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> just give me a moment. Yeah. I was like, I'll be the second to go or something. Do you want to cheat? You want phase on the go first? No, I can do it. <laughs> um, okay. So, um, <laughs> why don't I just, um, why don't I just rush in and attack with Saber? Uh, attack with, with your Saber, okay. Yeah. Uh, so. <laughs> Sorry, I'm uh, still figuring it out real 20. I that's okay. Last I'll, time. I'll go ahead and give you hints. Did you guys? Okay. I'm going to give you guys all one Valor because technically the round would have been over. So, Callan, you're at five. Give me your three. Uh, Faison, you should be... Faison, I, I distinctly remember giving you an extra Valor for that stunt you pulled with Esther, so you should be at four. And Bryn, why don't you go ahead and take a Valor? You're gonna need to play some catch-up, okay. though. Yeah. Uh, but, so you're gonna rush in and, uh... Yes. Wh who's your intended target? Go ahead and, uh, point them out towards me. Okay. Um, uh, they're here, right? <laughs> 
I don't know what here I, is. I <laughs> you can uh, hold down and okay. like. You yeah. go hold down okay. and ping. Oh, like, yeah, that okay, will. Okay, like, it's like. Sure. All learning together. We yep. are. There? Th this one, okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's a person, right? That is a person. So you would need to move. I believe you have a move of four. So you could move up one, two, three, four. But you could also spend your support action to additionally move. So you could get that extra bit and uh, close the distance. Okay. Then you would only have your attack action to use your saber technique. So whoop. Yay. <laughs> Why don't you go ahead and give me a roll? Okay. And then for that, I... Um, I click, do I click the token or? Uh, you don't have to click your token. Just go ahead and roll the technique. Okay, from the character sheet. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> I watched all of you guys. And I was like, I'm going to do it fine. But then I was. <laughs> A lot to get used to. Yeah. Sometimes you just have to learn oh, in the moment, you know? 14, you're using your intuition. I'm going to remind you guys that uh, normally you would uh, resolve the action by rolling the same one. So in this case, I would roll intuition. However, with some additional uh, uh, penalties, you could uh, elect to roll a different stat, even your guts, which normally isn't uh, a thing so long as you have two valor. In this case, I'm going to roll agility to see if this guy's going to get hit. And he does fail spectacularly. Yay. Um <laughs> And for failing with that substitution, he's gonna take some additional damage. But I don't think it's gonna matter because this guy was very hurt beforehand. <laughs> yeah. I wanted an easy target and I just knew somehow. <laughs> you knew. <laughs> your character's all about knowing easy targets and you didn't even roll your special skills to do that. Uh, but 43 uh, damage, uh, regardless, he is going to be knocked out. Uh... 43 minus 15 is 38. What's your damage increment, Bryn? Uh, the... Just for the sake of having accurate numbers. It's uh, on the first page, right above your initiative. Okay, sorry. No, no. Uh, six. Six, so overall that's gonna be 38 plus six. I'm good at math, 44. He, <laughs> uh, he immediately falls unconscious and uh, Bryn right next to you uh, falls out of his uh, knapsack, the oh. sword that he kept uh, in his pocket. Free sword. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, free sword. <laughs> Are you gonna dual wield for us? Um, yeah, I think I pick up the sword and I say, free sword! There, there, I'm here! You know what makes sense? Because you did miss that this is a very historical object. It's probably because of standing outside. <laughs> but, but it's perfectly fine. Faison, before you go, I'm going to direct all of you guys. I wish I got the text, but I couldn't make it work for any reason. But I'm going to show you guys this journal entry. And if you want to click that link, I took a little screenshot of the rule book for overdrives. I'm gonna remind you because you lose them uh, at the end of each scene, which would probably be the end of this combat. But if you have at least three Valor, which you do phase on, you can spend it to gain uh, a benefit. Uh, you could, as a free action, gain an extra move, which might be good because of your uh, close combat nature. Desperate action. Uh, at the end of your turn, you could just take your turn uh, immediately before anyone else good if you want to interrupt determination after any roll add five to the roll good if you want to try to either make a hit actually connect or turn it into a crit exceed limitations during your turn in this combat as long as you're not incapacitated get all your stamina back good if uh the fight's been going long and you need to get a uh, second wind indomitable during this turn in combat and all adverse combats uh all adverse effects currently affecting you good if you're uh being crowd controlled. Sudden action as a free action. Uh, again, take your turn. Let's see. As a free action, then maybe taken at any point in the character's turn, you may support, uh, take a support action immediately. So good if you want to support, uh, use more of your support actions. Teamwork, add three to another person roll and unbreakable, recover one increment of health that's lost at the end of combat. That was a mouthful, but I. <laughs> want to make sure you guys do not forget because you've been doing a good job role-playing and getting Valor. With all that out of the way, uh, Paul, what's Faison's game plan right now? 
right now to get within range. So that's what I'm going to do. Okie dokie. So uh, I'm going to double check your move real quick. Uh, four. So you could one, two, three, four. Um, you could not make it, but you need the burn support action to get half your move five, six to close the distance. However, uh, you do, I do want to remind you, you have, a you have a little, uh, chakra technique, don't you? I do have a chakra technique. Or, well, that's not the one I'm thinking. Inner focus, where, uh, no, you, didn't you have a... I have inner focus. A boost, yeah, uh, to give yourself a nice boost, uh... I'm just gonna throw that suggestion out there. Uh, you can either spend your support action so you couldn't boost yourself this turn, or if you wanna, you know, spend an uh, overdrive to uh, gain a burst of speed, you could go that way. What do you think about doing? Do you wanna save your valor or? I'm gonna use my valor, gain a oh. burst of speed. All right, so drop your valor to one and you could easily close the distance. You could even circle around so if you so choose. Uh, but you have eight spaces of movement, so you could get up to here, probably circle around next to Bryn. I'll let you pick your poison. What are we thinking, Paul? Just close up. Okay, dokie. Yep. Uh, did you want to go ahead and uh, since you have that support action uh, now to use your inner focus? I will use my inner focus. Okay, what's that look like for uh, Phazon? Describe it to me. Inner focus is a support action that grants skills physical, physical attacker plus one as a boost court. Okie dokie. Uh, and I believe with physical attacker, uh, you get to up your ability to hit. Yeah, increase your strength and agility attack by six. So you're uh, in prime position to start decking some people. Uh, you don't have to roll for that. It's already in effect. Uh, so now you just have your attack action. And which I believe would have... so you have Banshee Strike or because you have that uh, extra move action Heavenly Rush what are we thinking I'm going in Heavenly Rush Ooh, I, I love that shout of, of your attack name gonna give you an extra valor there so, uh, one, you started here, one, two, three, four, and every, let's see, every target you move through, uh, will go ahead and, uh, be targeted by this technique. So we can imagine you go through, uh, probably all three of these dudes, uh, with your move. One, so you go one, two, three, four, yeah. And probably as you rush through uh, this uh, this character and this character, probably end your move either. Oh, and actually in the same spot, you just come around. Gotcha. I'm just visualizing it myself. Go ahead and roll me the technique while I go ahead and uh, roll some defense rolls. Twelve. Uh. So I got some uh, good news for you at the very least. You kind of notice that these two characters look the same. Uh, he was activating a clone skill with his boost. You did hit the right one. <laughs> and you're able to verify that as you move through him. And this is a dexterity technique. Um, let's see, I'm gonna have this guy uh, substitute his intuition to try to defend because a new round 
Uh, unfortunately, uh, uh, he puts up a wall of force that kind of uh, scurries you away as you try to rush through him, but you are able to probably hit uh, this masked gentleman to your right. Let me just roll his stats. Uh, and it's, you're rolling with agility, so he doesn't have to substitute. So, but you indeed uh, hit him uh, hit him square. Uh, 34 damage minus his defense. 27. He's gonna take. Not in a good position himself. Okie dokie. And I believe that uh, takes care of your turn, phase on. So, uh, Gemma, Heartshine. Yes. What are we thinking? All right. Um, so, uh, this is the one that um phase on hit sorry i'm trying to ping it's not working hold on uh, yeah that's that's the one that phase on hit phase on uh, missed this one at the top but did get a clear heavenly rush uh to the one on his right this okay one. all right um yeah i'm gonna go for um i'm gonna go for my uh super sparkle heart beam Ooh. Uh, Romine, <laughs> let's see. Super, your super sparkle heart beam targets in a line of four. Uh, so you're gonna do it from here. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna do it. Going? Where? Yeah, can I can I shoot from here? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. One, two, right. three, and it'll go ahead and uh, one, two, three, four. Also, just knock this guy unconscious. <laughs> make him make him just even feel the nastiness in his dreams. Go ahead and give me uh. A roll for your, your super spark, <laughs> super sparkle heart beam, and also yes. thank you, Fala, for shouting out to your uh, your attack name too. Great. Well, also remember to take your stamina cost, guys. Uh, so nine. Stamina of four. Yes. Yeah, let me do that. Um, going back, and that was a aura roll. He, he will roll with his aura then and not substitutes. Uh, 10. Ooh, yeah, I just. Um, can I use an overdrive? You may. Yes. Um, uh, let's see. Um, Are we uh, going to add five to the roll, I'm imagining? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> Easily. Uh, uh, so kind of like a back and forth, you guys are just, he's using his aura to block yours. And uh, I imagine and you overpower him. then I just power him. through, I'm just like, ah! Right before it tickles uh, Bryn's face as you put uh, even more force behind your super sparkle heart beam. Uh, definitely clears him then. Uh, so he's gonna take 38 damage minus his resistance, which, uh... I should probably not tell you guys to do the math, uh, but uh, this will lose this amount. And you went ahead and take that uh, stamina cost. Do you want to use your support action at all, if you so choose? Um, might. Um, yes, I would like to use uh, the healing heart. Does that count as a support if it's a technique? Yes, it is healing. Okay. Uh, healing techniques are support actions. So yeah. heal 16 to a target, a range of eight. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to be using that on myself. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, or whoever is around me. I don't think there's anybody who needs healing around me, but. <laughs> uh, looks like it's a single target, but you could certainly use it on yourself. So. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I imagine uh, an aura of hearts starts to surround you uh, as your wounds start to dissipate. Yeah, and I do a little twirl too while I'm doing it. Ooh, I like I like that. I honestly like that. Did you added a little twirl for it? Give yourself another <laughs> valor. Uh, you guys got to work with me here. Give me something visual. I'm a very visual guy. I love seeing what you guys can come up with when describing your actions. Go ahead and heal up uh, that 16 health, and I okay. believe we can move on. Um, let's see. Um, <laughs> uh, this. So I'm gonna tell you guys uh, right now. Uh, these guys. 
they want to get out of Dodge right now. <laughs> Especially, I was like, hmm, there was only supposed to be three people here. Now there's a fourth. <laughs> uh, this guy is going to go ahead and uh, pick up this guy onto his shoulders and uh, attempt to move out of the way. So uh, he's going to spend his full amount of actions, his his move action, his attack action, and support action uh, just to get out of dodge because he's not going to let a comrade go down. So that's five plus another five plus a 12. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to reveal it to you guys a little bit on the outside, but... Uh, you guys could see a getaway vehicle that they uh, prepared for this very uh, for this very situation. Hopefully, the sorted hands. Not the case. But one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. As he just uh, whoosh, throws them back into the car. Uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten gets into the car. As you guys hear the engine roar and a honks going out, singling to everybody to get out of Dodge. This guy uh, is not gonna go down with at least a warning shot. One, uh, actually he has to move through your uh, threatened squares. So that's one, two, three, four, uh, five, six, right across from Bren because uh, you ex exerted your zone of control there. Oh. Uh, don't forget about that. It's very hard for people to move past you, uh, in your area around you. But he is gonna take a pot shot at you, Bryn. Oh! <laughs> uh, uh, let's see. Very rude. A, bre mm. a breach and clear. So, this is cool. his roll. Uh, not very strong. Uh, rolled fairly poorly. Uh, so you need to beat a dexterity roll of seven. Or again, if you don't feel like rolling your agility, you can roll something else uh, with a penalty. Uh, but I think your agility's not that bad, is it? Ray? Yeah, it's three. Uh, it's uh, twelve is my agility. Uh, three is my dexterity. So. Uh, oh, your dexterity three. It's a little, it's a <laughs> little on the. Oh wait, no, dexterity. That's actually not that bad. I'll leave it up to you. I think you... I'll try it for now. <laughs> Give me a dex roll. Okay and see if you're able to... Uh, I will remind you guys about the hive meter. Uh, uh, with that bonus, you get a plus two to your roll, so uh, barely uh, scraping by, you needed that eight. Yeah. Uh, so you hear him cock his gun and are able to duck out of the way. Uh, tings off of the force field of this guy as he yells back, remind me to fire you later. <laughs> Sorry, boss! <laughs> We got uh, them on the ropes. <laughs> Let's finish this. Faison, take take a good valor. I like the confidence. It's very it's very like SP to exude that confidence. I think. Uh, but that's that takes care of them. Callan, uh, your turn, little dude. Okay. Um. So I just watched Gemma do this really cool move called Super Sparkle Heartbeam. Uh -huh. and it was really effective, and I'm gonna try it because that was so awesome. <laughs> yes, we get to see, we get to see one well, of okay, my favorite Tell me in action. how I do this with this mimic thing. So I just pressed it, but I don't think it's right. So do I? Just um. Uh, so you get to roll uh, with your agility. Okay. Uh, but uh. The technique is going to be based off of uh, the same one Gemma used uh, for damage, which I believe is intuition. Okay, so um, I would roll for intuition. Uh, it's spirit, I think, is the attribute. Is that, is that what we're looking for? Uh, we're looking for spirit. That's just going to determine statistics of the roll. Austin, okay. uh, if you're there, I'm going to need a little help there, buddy. Is it aura? Because <laughs> it, it, the one next to the nine is aura. Um. So you're going to roll dexterity to hit, but the damage is going to be based off your spirit attack stats. Got it. Okay. So I'm going to roll dexterity. Yeah. That was, <laughs> that Very, was a six. <laughs> I, I, I don't think I'm going to need to worry about uh, doing damage calculations. Oh, no. okay. Unless, 
Unless. <laughs> unless. You may want to overdrive. Unless. Oh, unless. <laughs> uh, tell me, who are you targeting, by the way? Oh, I'm targeting this purple guy here. Yeah, the one who's closest to me. Um, mm, okay. <laughs> so, I mean, he seems like the big bad, so. <laughs> um, can I do an overdrive of determination? Because that was a really cool move that Gemma did. I I will let you use your determination because Gemma of... believes in you. Okay. You can do this. And uh, I just want to get it right. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go ahead and have this uh, this one go ahead and roll his defense. I actually I need to check something. Give me one second. And I'm, uh, oh, how much valor do you spend for overdrives? I'm sorry. Uh, three. Three. Okay. Okay, so it does, okay, so he does have to roll in this case to defend. And he is gonna, he's gonna, oh, he shouldn't substitute. No, in this case, he's not gonna. He is going to roll dexterity back. Twelve. Uh, oh. But remember, with that overdrive, you get a plus five, so it'll be 11. But the crowd hype, the crowd's cheering you on. Cal, or, Kazari, Kazari, Kazari. Kazari, He's just gonna like, with his like, <laughs> weapon, just try to mimic, mimic Gemma as much as possible. And like, do like a little twirl, <laughs> and like spin it. And he'll even say like, uh, super sparkle heart beam. <laughs> <laughs> and then, like, do the exact same movement with his own weapon and see what happens. <laughs> Congratulations. I love him. Congratulations, Colin. You have hit a clone. No! <laughs> oh, that was the- For Mimic. That was the one <sighs> for Token. Oh, I remember his, I remember his role. He's substituted. He's at a four right now. Uh, uh, but yes, uh, by hitting a clone, you automatically dissipate it, if I remember correctly. Uh, Curse you, clone scum! <laughs> Don't give up, kid. <laughs> At least you look good! <laughs> yeah, thanks, Gemma! Oh, wait, who said that? I'm sorry, I'm not on Zoom. <laughs> Yeah. It was Gemma. It was Gemma. You were correct. Okay. <laughs> I wasn't looking at the Zoom. Sorry. Uh, also, thank you, Austin. Next time you use Super Sparkle Heart Beam, Austin uh, did the map for me. The damage would be 40 next time. So, good to remember. Uh, and I actually... Uh, I actually let you talk yourself into a corner, because technically... Um, you wouldn't need to make an attack roll, but I think it's with uh, Kazari's nature that he would try really, really hard he and did. probably not care. It was like, oh, oh I know I gotta try even harder for this. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> the precious baby. Uh, this, this for this mysterious fellow. Uh, I forgot he prepared a technique last time. That's the problem when you stop a fight in the middle of a stream. Uh, you forget what you prepared last time, which is which is totally fine. Little he's gonna surprise. He's gonna turn to Bryn and was like, a new face? I wasn't told about you. <laughs> Regardless, I'm gonna get you out of here. Puppeteer! And he's gonna try to, uh... <laughs> he's gonna try... He's gonna try to uh, throw you. You feel your body uh, be manipulated with psychic energy. Uh, this is an intuition roll. Okay. Uh, which uh, you would need to roll to defend. Okay. 11. Oh, and you came to the fight late, so you don't have enough valor to. Uh... Unfortunately, even with the no. crowd hyping you, it was like, Alas, no, don't let him pull you! Whoosh, he uh, throws you, <laughs> knocks you into Phazon. Uh, sorry! Um, don't Faison, worry about it. You're gonna get we hit. We can uh, finish this fight. Phazon, with that throw, uh, you're also gonna be hit with this technique, but the throw is a little bit weaker this time. Uh, so you also need to roll an intuition to defend. And, uh, Alez, you're gonna take 48 damage minus your resistance. Okay. As I do his stamina cost. Don't forget about your stamina cost, guys, when you use a technique. Even I gotta not forget, and I'm the GM. 
Now I gotta do an intuition. Yes, or if you're not feeling good about your intuition rules, you may substitute uh, a different attribute. You could substitute your muscle, but you will take some damage. Substitute your agility, but if you fail, you'll take you'll take more damage. You could use your aura uh, and expend stamina to defend. I think those are your big stats. Or if you want to stick to intuition, that's that is what he's rolling with. I'll stick to my intuition. Give us a roll there. Oh! Nice. 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 Uh, so I like to think that uh, in as you uh, as Bryn's getting thrown by this energy, you kind of uh, use your you kind of use your own energy to kind of stop Bryn in her tracks. It's like, vroom, and just softly place her back uh, onto the ground. Thank you. As you as Ales gains her bearings. <laughs> You're just Don't like, oh. Nuke. Don't <laughs> worry, newcomer Bryn. Just be careful. To I be fair, it wasn't as creepy as I thought the move puppeteer was going to be, so. <laughs> just Glad keep to your, see you're okay. Yeah. Keep your focus on the combat, Bryn. <laughs> yes. This uh, is not over. Don't let your guard down too often. Got it. This mysterious uh, gentleman is going to. Let's. He's gonna try to um, move back. He realizes this is probably a losing fight. So one, two, three, four. Uh, doesn't need to move his sport action. Five, six. Uh, puts his hand in front of this guy. Uh, turns back. <laughs> Little Cavaliers. You're stronger than I thought. <laughs> oh, you made my day, little Cavaliers. Sorry to cut this short. Top of the round, everybody gain a valor. His, uh, his initiative's gonna go back to six, I believe. And, uh, yeah, Phazon, you are up. Or no, Bryn's up, I forgot, Bryn uh. goes first. I do? Okay. Yeah, you started our round. Okay, <laughs> yes. You see these guys on the retreat, what do you do? Um, sorry, one second. <laughs> I thought I was gonna be face on. I forgot I was the person. <laughs> Alez um, thought she was face on, but alas, she is Alez. Oh no. Um, y you're welcome, I guess, for us being strong or whatever you said. Yeah, um, uh, I think I'm going to do, um, uh, I, I have a ranged one, right? I believe. I don't, I haven't memorized all your techniques. Yeah, I'm looking. I think it's, a uh, Saber 3, <laughs> Save, Savara, or whatever. <laughs> Sa Sa Savara, okay. Savara. Uh, it is at a range, it's at a line, so you need to move into a position where a straight line would there? attack him. Like, <laughs> like that, that one. Uh, in a line of three, so one, uh, well, one, two, three, you can even get yeah, the guy behind Yeah, that's what him. I was thinking. <laughs> uh, go ahead and roll your technique and take the stamina cost. Okay. Uh, nine, unfortunately, the crowd has gone down, uh, <sighs> in hype. I forgot at the start of the round. Uh, you'll still get your plus two bonus, so that is 11. Uh, this, uh, the mysterious man will roll uh, his intuition. Yeah, and I shout, like, no! Yet and we're not done. I think. <laughs> I, she's so awkward. Take a valor for that. Okay. Uh, Eleven. So you guys would normally tie. Tie goes to the initiator. Uh, you. Uh, again, very close calls where you guys push through with uh, just enough energy to strike past him. And uh. This guy's gonna try to dodge out of the way with his with his agility, and if he fails, um, he, he's gonna not do that. Uh, thirteen, uh, able to kind of duck out of the way of your saber line as uh, energy <laughs> emanates from your saber. Uh, the mysterious gentleman though will take uh forty three minus his resistance, so 
There we go. Uh, you see him uh, cough. <laughs> That's what we like to see. Uh, very skilled at the mine. My kind of cavalier. <laughs> Sad to say we're on the wrong side. Uh, Bryn, you have a support action should you choose to want to use it. Otherwise, we're going to phase on. Um, I think I'm good for now. We can go to phase on. <laughs> phase on! Um... Uh, if you guys, uh, I'll remind you, if you guys want to uh, give a little speech or uh, thing to the crowd, get their spirits up, that would be a support action in this case. Yeah, I think I think Gemma will, uh, just to get the crowd back up again. She's like looking around, she notices like they're they're not as hype as they should be. This is You're the battle scared. and we're gonna win. <laughs> yeah, we can, um, we'll do that so, on your turn then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I also wanted to inquire about- yeah. Uh, so if I want to take the, um, like, teamwork overdrive, do I have to say that, like, before anything happens? Uh, after any ally makes a roll, add three to it. So, okay. if you see, uh, Faison needing the help, or, like, okay. Bryn or Callan, you can, uh, go ahead and just say, I want to use the teamwork overdrive. We'll add okay. Three to it. All right. Noted. Anyways, Paul, what's your game plan? My game plan is to finish this with potentially one more strike. Let's finish this. All right. Uh, who's, your, who's your target, buddy? Okay. Uh, what technique are you using? I will use Heavenly Rush. And this time, it is over. Ooh, I like the confidence. Ah, uh, I give yourself another valor, my friend. Uh, you started... should have said my attack like that. <laughs> <laughs> you started here, so you go one, two, three. You couldn't end your turn. Uh, you couldn't end your turn on him, but you definitely can rush over him. Uh, so. You get heavenly rush and then come back to defend Alez, but you won't be able to get the guy in the back, I think. But uh, go ahead and roll heavenly rush regardless and take your stamina costs. Uh, I'm gonna, he's gonna, let's see. He's gonna roll his intuition to substitute and his uh, thing goes down. Even with uh, the bonuses you guys have, he cannot get past your heavenly rush. Like, boom, bam, all like all over him, striking at all points. He can't defend himself. He tries to put up a, sh a wall of force. You break through it easily. You go to the other side of him and strike him before he's able to uh, uh, put up another wall of force. You're just outpacing him and outstrengthening him at every turn. Uh, he's going to take 34 minus 7, so... Uh, he coughs up even more. <laughs> uh, I'm not one of your common street thugs. It's gonna take more than that. But I you know better that. hope so. Cause you should see coming. a doctor about that cough. <laughs> Watch yourself. I don't need your sympathy. Gemma. Hi. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, Gemma, um, now would this count as uh, my action or is this like a support action riling up the crowd? Support. Uh, support. So taking a, ch a good explanation to say, any challenge action that you guys want to do to influence the, the meter uh, inside of combat would just be a support action, which also means okay. want to do it twice, you cannot attack and do it twice. Yeah, Gemma's going to just... Um... I think she's just gonna kind of send out a wave of sparkles, I guess, to get everyone's attention. Um, yeah. <laughs> Do not worry yourselves. We have this situation under control. Please be assured we will not let any of you get hurt. Uh, 
sounds like you're invoking some leadership there. So maybe some uh, resolve, maybe intuition. Okay, all right. Uh, either work for me. Let's try resolve. 11. Uh, 11. Uh, with the crowd hype already there, uh, you uh, you won't be able to move it uh, twice, but it definitely goes up. The crowd starts to cheer. I was like, yeah, there's nothing to worry about. These guys stuck inside the smoke. <laughs> yeah, nothing to worry about. <laughs> uh, they probably they probably in the time they had moved out of the way. I feel a little <laughs> bad for them. Let's get them out of there. <laughs> Uh, probably in the three turns you guys have. Yeah. <laughs> They're non-combatants anyway. So that is your support action, Heartshine. Uh, you gotta okay. move in an action. Uh, yeah. Um, let's see. I get my moves, so I'm just gonna take a look at that. Um, uh, where is my move? Oh, uh, four. I found it, yeah. Yeah, on the, okay, on, your, on the attribute sheet. I'm gonna move there. Okie dokie. Uh, and I am going to. I think I'm gonna use my heart bolt clips. Um, take my butterfly clip out of my hair. Uh, and get that ready. Power it up with some magic, and then just like throw it. <laughs> okay. Uh, which one? Uh, the purple guy. Purple Big bad. Dude. Okie dokie. Uh, give me a roll and he will do the same. Uh, okay. Dexterity. I'm hoping. No, he's he's, he's technically hoping. got one more of these to substitute intuition, which he wants to do. No. Oh, especially with the crowd hype. Uh, Ooh. he's yes. he he looks over. Why are you cheering for? Right into the head. <laughs> uh, My butterfly see. clips just go right into his head. <laughs> he's, he's, uh, let's see, so 38 damage, uh, minus his defense, so that's gonna be... Uh, <laughs> I underestimate you guys in these combats. You guys are a lot more experienced at the system than I thought. Uh, his head starts rattling around, he's yes. seeing stars, is like, who's the, who's the that? Was it, was, was, was it you? I think it was you. Ooh, yeah. All that huffing and pollen, all that huffing and hollering, you better pay attention. Because uh, this will be over too soon if this keeps up for you. Not that it matters for us. <laughs> right? <laughs> right save, you, save your breath for your defense. Faison, <laughs> take another Valor. You're on point with these. That was really good. That was a really good one liner. <laughs> I'll remind you, Faison. Te it. Teamwork is a. Uh, is a <laughs> overdrive you could take. You guys might be able to finish this off with a crit. Who knows? Uh, unfortunately, uh, he turns to you, boss. This uh, gentleman turns to him, Bo boss. You're gonna be okay. Does it look like we're okay? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't think so. You got any more of those smoke grenades? Uh, yeah. Throw one! <laughs> uh, he's uh, taking orders like a champ. He's gonna go ahead and uh, throw a smoke grenade in a three by three area onto uh, you three. So let me get up the poly uh, draw shake tool and he's gonna, I almost clicked on uh, not his technique. So he's going to roll a 13. Uh, so this is going to cover you guys in an area of darkness, which is going to make it a little bit more difficult to uh, pinpoint things, as well as he's going to try to lower your initiative with this. Um, so go ahead and roll to resist with intuition, or if you want to substitute, which I think you guys can both do because you have valor. It wouldn't cost any. It but wouldn't cost any? Uh, no, uh, if you want to, okay. uh, if you want to substitute against a weaken, I believe you need at least two Valor, uh, which... Um, yeah, I would like to use Dexterity and try and get out of there. Okay, uh, roll your Dexterity, see if I'm you could, good. uh... It's only 11, um, and I got 14. Uh, so with a plus 
two from the crowd, you'll be out of 13. So you would be, have your initiative lowered. Lily, you'd be fine. <laughs> unless somebody wants to uh, shout some encouraging words to get, uh, for Heartshine and help them out. Um, I think I, uh, with my, not my light sword, my laser sword, <laughs> It like waves away the smoke. I try to wave away the smoke around her and be like, come on, we can do this. <laughs> Waving the sword? That's precious. It's light, it's made of light. <laughs> it's made of light. <laughs> this so, is darkness. <laughs> Alas, you took the I'll use my happen. valor. Okay. Uh, you both can easily uh, do that. I don't think both of you need to, but hey, uh, this combat's gonna be over real quick, so uh, if you guys want to each spend V3 Valor, uh, Les, I like that. It's light! It, it, it defeats smoke and darkness. I'll give you a Valor for that, which will put you at zero uh, after using it. Same for I you, love you. Uh, uh Easily cover yourself. Faison, I still need a roll from you, though, to... Uh, Cover yourself from the smoke. Can I roll in my intuition, or you can choose. Yeah, you have enough valor at this point where you could choose which attribute. I'll roll with my aura. Ooh. Uh, oh, and Austin's correcting me. Uh, it's just a simple <laughs> minus one. Uh, you can use uh, resolve and no penalty uh, if you have at least two valor. So this is gonna take a minus one anyway, but you have the crowd behind you. Uh, all of you guys don't take a knock to your uh, uh, initiatives. You guys go ahead and uh, dissipate enough of the smoke before it could start forming around you. You guys, you guys got the bargain bit smoke. If, sorry, boss. <laughs> I told you <laughs> it could be extra special batch, but no. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna leave now. Yeah, you better! <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. One, boom, into the car. Good luck with As your future I... career prospects! <laughs> uh, Kazari, uh, it is up to you. Shoot, okay. If he's, he is on the ropes. Okay. You, you would probably need to knock him down now or else he is uh, getting away. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna be like, guys, are you okay? Can you see? I'll come, uh, I'll come back for you. And then I'm just gonna go one, two, three, four, five. Uh, I think that's all I can move though. Um, uh, your support action will get you an extra three. Oh, you... one, two, three. <laughs> what? what are we doing, Kathy? Um, okay, let's see. Uh, hmm. Which one's not going to target, like, anybody else <laughs> here? Uh, <laughs> hmm. Okay, I guess I'm going to use Barrage Bane Blitz! Go, and... go for it. Uh, targets in the line of two, so easily strike them. Ooh! Well, hi, um, 15, guys. baby! You might be able to crit if he rolls low. He can't substitute his intuition. He, he's got to use. Oof. Uh, he's going to give himself the, the slightest advantage and substitute spirit by uh, paying some stamina. Uh, so he is going to pay the stamina cost to substitute his spirit. Uh, you might, you might, you might. Oh, so. <laughs> You guys, yes. you guys will hit because you got the crowd bonus. So that plus oh, two, you're at a 17. Oh yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm not gonna tell you uh, if this is gonna uh, knock them out or not. I'll let okay. you guys decide if you want to use the valor to help out uh, Kazari's barrage bane blitz to turn it into a crit. Cause you might. Uh yeah. Kazari, um, kiddo, yeah. yeah. I got your back cause I'm right near. Despite his. <laughs> Failure smoke. Let's finish this. Okay. Thanks, face on. And then I'm gonna like uh what do we, what do we, just look at the description real fast. What is this? Is this just like a 
Yeah. Okay. I'm just gonna like swing it up and back down on him. Yeah, uh, Kazer. I think if you overdrive for determination and heart shine and phase on give you uh, uh, their bonuses through teamwork, you could crit them. <laughs> oh my God. Well, thank you, DM. <laughs> you guys know your advantages. Determination. <laughs> yeah, why not? <laughs> All right, so plus five from determination, two plus threes from uh, uh, SP and heart shine easily turns that into a crit. Uh, so what is your what is your attack stat uh, for agility, I believe? Um, agility? It yeah, is. another 24. Oop, Austin corrected me this time. I've learned. Uh, <laughs> Agility is eight, is that right? Oh, uh, attack, sorry, 24. 24 yes. along with your 44. So that's gonna be a 68 minus his defense. Uh, so. <laughs> I wasn't planning on this, but this is gonna make the story interesting. Uh, you go ahead, Barrage Bane Blitz, his, uh, his helmet comes clean off, uh, revealing uh, the face on the inside. Yeah, yeah, we'll steal the story this way. Uh, you guys see what looks to be a scientist. Kazri, you specifically, because you are the fanboy. I want you to go ahead and give me a challenge scene. I'm going to force onto you. Roll me some knowledge, whether that okay, be. Okay, okay. Some intuition, or however you think he gathers his knowledge. I forget how well some knowledge rolls can be. Um, it's probably intuition. I want you to see if you can recognize who this person is. It's a nine. <laughs> Do I have seven I recognize? You, you know, uh, you know this person to be a knight of some sort. Oh! His costume uh, wouldn't give that away. It's definitely not his knight costume. You know he's a very famous knight, a very well-respected knight. For him to do this is despicable and uh, honestly a, a stain on what it means to be a knight. The crowd itself is in its own shock. Uh, we'll go ahead and change the music up a little bit. Uh, he's clearly unconscious, uh, from your strike. Uh, but yeah, what should be a very, uh, heartfelt and victorious, uh, combat is a little sour. Um, if anybody else want, I'll give you guys the same chance. If you want to roll some knowledge, see if you can recognize him. I'm sure, Kazri, you probably sure this is a knight to prompt them. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just, I think I'm just like staring open mouth and just like, oh, I, I know that face. Oh, I know he's a knight. Oh, he's a knight. Oh my God. What's he doing here? Oh my God. Uh, and then I'm gonna scream to the guys and be like, guys, guys, um, there's a knight. I don't remember his name, but I know that he's a knight. And I'm just gonna like fall silent. <laughs> I got 14. <laughs> uh, so uh, Heart, uh, Hershine and SP are like, nah, but Alez, you know this night. Uh, this is Gray Matter. First name Vaughn, last name Cadigan. He is a knight who works for the company of the Red Sun. Uh, this itself is honestly probably... With this information, it could be a huge stain onto that company itself. Red Sun is a very recognized uh, military uh, developer of uh, huge funding by the government uh, to uh, fund for uh, operations overseas, as well as to advance technology and developments to uh, create the most sophisticated military technology possible. He is a high ranking officer for the Red Sun. Um, you could share this information as, uh, as you may. I'm sure as a, oh, by the way, these guys, uh, with their, was this on the, the GM layer? There's supposed to be a car here. Probably looks funny. <laughs> yeah. 
I, I uh, pretended there was a card. I, yeah, I just imagine yeah. <laughs> the invisible oh, car. Oh, I see it now. I see a car now. The whole thing was a car. <laughs> Brent Sun pioneering the technology of invisible vehicles. Uh, <laughs> they gotta scramble, turn off the invisibility, out of oh there. Oh my god! Leaving their boss away. Uh, they're probably gonna hear uh, a lot of some it. Some comrades just straight up bolt when they defeated to leave their comrade. That's ridiculous. Uh, typical really nice. undoings. But still, the bigger question: What is with this knight here? Who is this knight? Does anyone remember this knight? I know I have a train card. I'm gonna like reach into my satchel and like flip through my train cards. A knight, <laughs> part of the Red Sun. I don't know who this is, but a knight being here, doing all this, this is a bad look. <gasps> I'm going to, uh, I'm actually going to go over to Esther, um, and, and kind of like, A, ask her if she's okay, B, kind of discreetly ask her if she knew anything about this. Uh, I'm, I'm okay. She, she, she says that, visibly, you see her shaking. Uh... She she takes a few deep breaths and turns to you, Heartshine. Uh, I I know you told me to call off the stunt. I did. Those didn't look like anywhere near the potential cavaliers I was given to be on the other side. I he, uh, Esther. They take a look at um, Gray Matter. Um and. She just, uh, they just say, it, that doesn't surprise me. Red Sun has had it out for the Equalist for a long time. I'm sure this is going to be, this is something they didn't plan for. To now have their name out of the open. Uh. <sighs> well, uh, I'm sorry. Um, I, I hope that you're okay. Um, but, I'll be uh, fine. you know, they, they might redouble their efforts if this is what they were already going to, you know? I, let me call someone specific to come down here. Uh, she goes ahead and, uh, calls the phone and asks you guys to wait. Uh, uh, or they, I'm sorry. Uh, they call the police uh, to come down here. Uh, uh, Esther makes mention it's their police contact uh, that they uh, told you guys about. Uh, if you guys want to RP for a little bit before they show up, go for it. Uh, but the scene will move forward uh, shortly afterwards. And then we could... How's everybody doing? Do we need to take a short break or could we go a little longer? Let's... Um, I'm doing okay right now. I'm okay, okay. too. I'm we'll try doing good. We'll uh, probably take it at the hour 30 mark, but okay. yeah. If you guys want to RP for a little bit, or I'll move the scene forward. Kibble, <sighs> how was your first uh, outing in what we could best describe as a, a political, something of a start of some political warfare right now? Uh, how's my first political warfare? <laughs> um, I mean, <laughs> it's pretty great. I'm not gonna lie. That was pretty awesome. And I learned a lot of new stuff, like the sparkle heart beam attack thing. That was pretty cool. Um, You're welcome. Thanks. Yeah, I always wanted to try it. I have to get the heart things right first, but um, I'm gonna learn. I'm gonna work on it. Yeah, um, you have to draw it. Remember to draw the heart in the air while you're doing it. Oh. That helps. Yeah, okay, my hearts are a little sloppy, so... Yeah, I'll, you gotta I'll... you gotta just give it something to channel to that makes it stronger. Right. Next time, oh, okay. next time. Yeah, yeah, they were a little lopsided, so I'm really gonna work on that. <laughs> your, I'm glad your outlook's a tad bit positive since we survived this. But, man, this night, Red Sun, his companions, you, yeah, they left, but still they left which means they're out there and they know 
who we are. Do you think they nice seem? They don't seem like the type to have any guts to their own. I think they'll probably just go into hiding. Yeah, they took the bargain yeah. smoke bombs. There. Yeah. That's true, but at the same time... Who's now their employers... Say... Their employers will be after us. Yes. Does that mean more knights? More knights? Do you think there are I more knights? I wouldn't say maybe more knights, or if anything, more of their crony employees will be after us. That's for certain. Yeah. We, we don't technically know if it was his employer, though. He could have been acting out of line. We can't take any chances. And first that's probably going to be the official story, yes. Yes, but... It's hard to know. I mean, he's unconscious after all. For now. But I think we're gonna need to find out information about this guy, whether it's police or whoever questions him. This Why is suspicious. Would... Out of all the things, a <laughs> knight. Yeah, why would a knight want to attack people? They're supposed to protect people. I think I guys. I told you guys before that my circle of trust has been growing smaller and smaller, especially as it's been come, as it came with cavaliers and knights. I think this is your first-hand example as to why. As to the reason, I don't know. But I'll tell you at least on the political side. Traditionalists have backed Red Sun for a long while. That is the news. Uh, Tell me. Yeah, it's disgusting. The first thing's first. How did they know that we, are, that we were here? Maybe they didn't. Maybe they were just trying to get that sword. The sword! Where's the sword? Oh, Wait, it's the right sword? next to you. <laughs> oh, right. Sword? Okay. Sword? I, I thought right here. <laughs> okay. Where is the sword? He said. I thought I picked it up. <laughs> and I said free sword. Oh, yeah. Oh. Free. Sword. <laughs> uh, Esther turns to you, Bryn. I was like, "May, may I have that back, please?" Oh, is it yours? I'm sorry. One of uh, them dropped it, so I thought. <laughs> uh, Esther goes ahead and puts it back. Yeah. Uh, for right now, you you came here late and missed the speech, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, I've been running late lately. Uh, I was wondering where you got off to. Yeah, I, we were supposed to do that Chimera expedition or whatever together, and you never showed. I was worried something had happened. Um, I showed up, but I was in I was in my outfit, and you weren't in your outfit, so I thought I had to go. I wasn't. I thought it was an outfit one. <laughs> I didn't realize it was an over undercover one. <laughs> Just for future reference, my outfit is magical. <laughs> um, it, I can put it on whenever. So you just. Dress for work. Okay, but then everyone else looked like they were just normal, and then I was thought I had to go back home and change and put on other clothes and like do a disguise or something. Look, Alice, we're just glad you're here. I'm but, glad you're okay. And we're glad you're okay. But you sure do know how to see, know how to pick the time of when to come. The most interesting times. <laughs> Well, it was still helpful, right? Yes. Uh, yes I will indeed. say uh, it was better than the time where you showed up as we were killing the thing. Well? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's better than that, so <laughs> good job, kid. Much. Good job. We did this much either. There weren't even any puppies there, so... Yeah. <laughs> Were there supposed to be puppies? I definitely would have shown up. I thought there were. <laughs> I was ready for puppies, but there it was, was a... my cover story. I was pretending to be an idiot tourist who just moved here and wanted to see I puppies. Matched, I could have had like a shirt that was like, I, I, I went to this place and I only got this T-shirt. I could have matched. I could got. <laughs> we need to coordinate outfits next time. <laughs> hey, Bryn, I'm just gonna say this once. Just, honey. Just take a deep breath. It's not that deep, I promise. <laughs> Wait, is the breath not supposed to be that deep? Or... <laughs> oh, honey. Alan, kiddo. 
Uh, Don't which... be like Alice. <laughs> be like Alice. Uh, okay, should I change my shirt? <laughs> Do I need to change? Just be, be a kid, but be normal. Don't overthink. Don't think, oh, my breath. No. What's wrong with my breath? <laughs> Nothing. Oh, God. Is my breath stink? Oh, oh my no. God. No, phase on, phase on. Before we get into like an anxiety <laughs> loop, they're just going to feed back off of each other and make it worse. <laughs> Do you have any aspirin? I really could use some ibuprofen or something. I have some. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> I hand it over. <laughs> She swallows them dry like a champ. <laughs> <laughs> no water necessary. I might be close to having taken some too, but good damn remain level-headed. That was a close one that kind of pushed the limits. <sighs> okay, Grin, great job. Um, I really liked your enthusiasm. Next time, maybe let's try being on time. I know it's difficult. I know I know it's hard to keep track. Would you like me to text you an update like an hour before? Yeah, and I think we should have more of the plan so that there aren't any outfit mix-ups, just because. <laughs> I will include the outfit descriptions in your future job invitations. Thank you. Hey, Zima. I think you need to follow the, the simple concept with a uh, keep it simple, stupid. <sighs> Well, yes. Yes. <laughs> well, uh, Just we'll a note, unless you want to be taking more aspirin throughout mm. constantly. I can't risk it. I got a stomach ulcer last year. <laughs> <sighs> it will cause internal bleeding <laughs> in some cases. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Bryn, yes. <laughs> Can... Can I go for an aspirin? At this point, with the headaches, everything's oh, life has been causing. I'll pop them like donuts. Oh, oh Bryn, can you help? Yeah, her, we, yeah we can just. We can just. Everyone oh, else. Es Esther, Esther, this is Bryn. She's um, she's been tagging along with me on some of my recent jobs. Pleasure. Thank you very much. Esther, and nice to meet you. <laughs> Pleasure, Esther uh, Satari, uh, museum worker and more recently politician. Oh, cool. Uh, eventually. <laughs> uh, Three hours later. I was about to do that. <laughs> uh, go ahead and save me the headache uh, beforehand. Uh, we'll, we'll call this a scene transition. Go mm. ahead and give you guys back a health increment and stamina increments. Check your Yay. sheet and just add them back to your tokens right now. Uh, a police car shows up. Uh, and out from both of them, you see only two people. Why are you behind the car? There you, there you <laughs> go. Uh, uh, you see them behind the broken glass. Uh, this officer makes a dumb, oh, look what they've done here. It's like, come on, Lascano. Uh, pulling <laughs> them through. Uh, walks over to you guys. Uh, you recognize this person only briefly. Uh, you probably recognize them by face. Uh, you guys uh, make it to usually remember name of the law enforcement you guys see. What? <laughs> you guys, that was poorly phrased. Do you guys make an uh, an effort? Do you guys make an effort to remember the names of like the different law enforcement you see on Cavalier jobs, or they're like, ah, name is cops. I'm not gonna bother remembering. <laughs> I think um, I try, but I always get it wrong. <laughs> I try and remember, just at least to avoid the ones I don't like. Uh, even if it is to jog your memory, they probably uh, they probably start the conversation regardless. Uh, Sergeant, let's, I should reveal the token, uh, Sergeant Buraha, uh, believe I'm very familiar with you guys, uh, good job with the Chimera operation a few days ago. No, oh, thank you, thank you. Uh, let's kind of wrap them up. Oh, sure thing, sure thing, boss. Buraha turns over, I 
thought I told you to call off that stupid stunt of yours. I, I did. But apparently the information got out. It sure did. <sighs> I'm just glad you're safe, sweetie. <sighs> I think we know the faces we can trust. I or think sh- they know each other. I think they might know each yeah. other. Just a little. Es- Esther uh, brings up uh, the police contact I told you guys about. This is them. As well as should I say? I'll say it. I'm also running for office. Don't ask me about how I'm managing that and working at the police station. It's a it's a mystery to me too. Uh, I... Well, uh, as we can see, it's um, I would say it's pretty standard, but it's uh, not really. They kind of burst through the windows. There were oh god, one, two, three, four of them, maybe three or four. Uh, four, I believe. If Plus you this one. The clone. Oh yeah, there was a clone. <laughs> oh yeah, I didn't get him. Clone. Gray matter. <sighs> we think so. That's his name. <laughs> <laughs> yes, kiddo. <laughs> I go through my train cards and pull it out. I knew I saw that face somewhere. You <laughs> carried that. How long have you had that card on you, knowing that? If uh, you knew that you had it. The card? Oh, yes. I got it. Um, hmm, I think my friend gave this one to me. I traded it for another one. Um, but he was one of my favorite. Uh, Green Matt, yeah. Maybe you can get it signed? <laughs> oh, wait. Oh. That- I think that might be in poor taste, considering the circumstances. Okay. okay. Brin, pass me an aspirin. Seriously, <laughs> <laughs> well, now I need an aspirin. I pass it. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I could use a stiff drink after this. Yeah, like a Shirley Temple. Like a Shirley Temple. Like a uh, Shirley Temple. Like a Shirley Temple. <laughs> uh, like a Shirley Temple. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'll, uh, speaks up, all joking aside. You want the good news or the bad news first? Bad, bad news. Bad. <laughs> uh, bad news is, I think this rabbit hole goes deeper. Uh, you notice that me and uh, my deputy officer... Introduce yourself. Oh, uh, Deputy Officer Lascano, uh, here and ready to serve. Good, good head on the shoulder. Uh, green as green as grass, though, unfortunately. Uh, but someone I could deeply trust. Point being, notice that there's only the two of Pops. us here. How long? How long ago has this break-in occurred? Um, would it be like 10 minutes, maybe? Like, it, uh, it was it was pretty quick, right? The break in the curring and uh, Faraha answering, it's a very easy answer. It's it's almost striking the, like, 35, 40-minute mark at this point. Okay, yeah. I was so late. I, yeah, relay <laughs> that information. And Faraha returns to the crowd. And how many of you uh, done your due diligence and called the police uh, as soon as you could? There's hands going up. What doesn't add up here? I'm sure you guys can figure it out. Where are the police before? Ah. Bingo. Do you not get it? They got bought out. Oh. Oh. Uh, it's pretty standard. Thoughts. I mean, it's it's part of the way that, you know, most modern killings with involving knights happen is they, uh, they, you know, cut off all contact and nothing anyone can do oh From no the- they bled out it must have been an accident you guys probably know firsthand it's not uncommon for the police to respond slowly or even not at all especially for unfortunate situations big big ones such as these usually a lot harder to pull but 
it's unfortunate the time we live in where especially if you're not rich or have some pull uh where you know you're someone in terms of society mm. or the police not respond and people have to turn to whatever cavaliers they can find where the police has failed that's something i'm trying to change but it, this goes way beyond that. This is standard and unfortunate, but I would be lying if I said I didn't expect this. I've seen it too much. Esther, you only told Cavaliers to try to pull your stupid stunts. I'm not going to let you get away with that. Yes, yes, I, I, I called it off. And we're just going to turn into a normal speech. Just my... Furara speaks up. Just my thoughts. You guys might want to poke the brains back at your little guild hall of yours. And see who, who dropped the ball and said something they weren't supposed to. That might be your uh, in for finding a lead. Well, Clover will know. If anybody... I, I strongly suggest that be your first avenue of exploring where this rabbit hole starts. I'll do my end back at the station, but hmm, I'm sure I'm going to not hear the end of it and how this is my fault that all this went south. Please, business, I'm going to have to take... Huh, it is gray matter piece of work. I'll have to take Grey Matter with me, but if you guys ever want to visit the station, I'm sure we could work out a way to uh, make it very worth our time and get a lot more done than just interrogation. That is if he doesn't get bail. Mm. But considering who he is, no matter how high we set it, I, don't, I doubt he's going to be in there for long. Lucky devil. Yeah. Furhara kicks him in the shin. You didn't see nothing. <sighs> I can't thank you guys enough. Keep Esther safe. Dumb, dumb, sh dumb little brain on her shoulders when it comes to anything else but activism. But you got you got a smart head on you for that, sweetie. <laughs> I appreciate it. Anything else I could do for you guys before I go? For how returns to you guys. No. no. Do you need aspirin? <laughs> I, I would love an aspirin. <laughs> this episode <laughs> brought to you by aspirin. <laughs> <laughs> Last one was Shirley Temples. <laughs> uh, Ferrara takes one from you, Bryn. Uh, uh, you can take two. She takes two. I, I know. Yeah. We all know aspirin and numbers. We sometimes we, we need, we need to take the, the high end Me of the dose. two and sometimes three if it's a bad oh. enough situation. Yeah. We, don't, we don't like those nights. <laughs> and this is one of them already. I'll be Let's... in touch. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt you, Paul. Yeah. There's a lot to unpack with this. But, yeah. Let's, I guess we can head back. Unless yeah. anyone else has anything to say. No. Yeah, Asta. You know, I already, like, you already know. There's a target on your back, just... Stay safe. For all we know, being associated with Esther, that also makes us having targets on our backs. I already know that too. I I know that, but there are those who are raw and green that don't know. That's true. Esther speaks up. I and I'm sure Puraha would agree. Like I said, I don't know who to trust, and this isn't the first of any jobs. And I promise you, it won't be just 
activism and delivering speeches. I want to help you guys get to the bottom of this, and I definitely think I could point you guys in the right directions. Of course, after you go back to the guild hall, can can I call you guys more, please? Well, I, if you've got the support, then you've got mine. I I will make sure you guys are properly compensated. It. Bruha returns. Don't sweat it. I just made some savings just for this occasion. I hate the nights that work for us anyway, down at the station. He's he's a he's an ass and a half, to put it lightly. You you guys probably know him. Yeah, so uh we're gonna head back to the guild hall, decompress, maybe get a Shirley Temple or four. I really good Shirley Temple. A really strong Shirley Temple. That'll be a lot of sugar. Uh, yeah. Yes, Bryn. The sh type of sugar, sugar that calms you down. It's made with sugar. <laughs> I'll I'll call you guys before the night's over. Thank you. Uh, well. A hand for every, a hand for all the cavaliers tonight. A solemn hand uh, <laughs> goes off. Uh, he almost died. I a golf claps. <laughs> everybody, go home. Be safe. I'm sure you'll never forget tonight's over for the right and the wrong reasons. Yeah, that's one way to put it. <laughs> I'll I'll mm -hmm. make sure everybody gets home safe and call you guys later. And I'm gonna take this piece of work down to the station. Let's go. Kind of, yep, yeah, right, boss. As they make their way uh over. It was nice meeting you! Let's kind of, Right! <laughs> As they load up and drive away. Let's go ahead and take a break, y'all. All right. Yeah. Time. Let's go. <laughs> Woo. Let's see. Let's put on put on some new music. Music for the break. Uh, thank you guys uh, for watching so far. We hope you guys enjoyed uh, that fun little combat and that solemn little scene. But hey, with every with every with every down, there is an up. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back soon.
And we are back. I hope everybody enjoyed their little break. I know a bunch of us got our uh, food and drink on. Make sure. Here's your daily reminder. It should be 15 minute reminder. Here's your 15 minute reminder that I'm going to forget to drink water. Very important. Uh, anyways, uh, I'm just going to get you guys moving because we got uh, we got some more fun role play we got to get to. Speaking of which, you guys come back to a commotion. Uh oh. Uh, almost to the point of like, who are we gonna question? You immediately hear, uh, in the middle of the guild hall. What do you mean my job got canceled? Uh oh. Look, full throttle. Yeah, <laughs> that's my name. Better one than you are. I'm a knight, and you're just a lowly cavalier. <laughs> Not for long, dipshit. <laughs> Clover, can I can I throw him? I mean, well, throttle. I'm I'm sorry. It client canceled, and that's the end of that. Well, you better give me a replacement job right quick, cause full throttle wait for no one. Oh. Ain't that right, boys? Yeah, yeah. Full throttle wait for no one. Yeah, you heard him. Uh, give give me a couple of hours. <laughs> oh yeah. look, they can repeat words. How intelligent. Who the ah! hell are these guys? Who's got the smart mouth? We oh, do. that would be me. Hi. <laughs> That's what you call a posse and a not so smart posse. Well, I, I don't, if you want to talk posses, he turns around. Three, six. I think you guys are outnumbered. That's about the quality, not the quantity, didn't you ever hear? <laughs> we got Facts. you beautiful both departments. <laughs> phase on, phase on, phase on. <laughs> One of these days, we're going to get into a little scuff. But right now, I don't want to dirty myself. Ain't that right, boys? <laughs> no, you just simply don't want to get your ass busted. That's what it is. <laughs> He's got a hmm. mouth on him. <laughs> and he just came back from busting us and another job, unlike you. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, g give me a few hours. Ain't that right, boys? And we're <laughs> let's go back to the dump. To the dump. To the dump. <laughs> yeah, go back to the trash. Yeah, where you take came a from. dump. Take a dump. <laughs> Know what they were saying? You guys didn't want to question the full throttle any more than that? Ugh, no, I have no time for idiots. No. We're running I already, just, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I already took plenty of aspirin. I don't need to take any more. We don't need any more. <laughs> Works for me. <laughs> uh, move things along then. Uh, you. You guys hear the remnants of a conversation on the inside, but I'll leave it up to you to decide when you guys go in. Are we? Yeah. Jolly uh, temples. Uh, that's a better chant than to the dump. <laughs> Why would you be proud of that? Uh, don't, don't. Let's just go in. Oh. Uh, Clover turns to you guys. Oh, hi. Uh, how... How did the job go? Well, less than pleasant. Yeah. Uh, I was that, wondering, that. Uh, I'm, I'm sure Full Throttle told you on his way out, but, oh, maybe not. Uh, he apparently was supposed to, I think, on the same job as you guys before your client canceled half, like more than half of you, except for well. you guys. Yeah, I mean, good for it. It was an awful plan. Yeah. Um, <sighs> the client had a bigger plan than probably what she let on. Um, we may have knocked some reality into her or into them, and uh, you know, uh, that meant scrapping half of the plan um i really don't think it would have gone well if if we had to work alongside of 
that imbecile. But um, nevertheless, uh, we ran into other troubles. So, uh, no. yeah. yeah. What happened? So, some bad guys showed up. You know, broke the windows, came in, tried to steal the artifacts that they were presenting. Um, yeah, it turns out it was a knight in disguise. Um, what was his name? Gray, Gray. Gray oh Matter. Gosh. Gray Matter! I should know this. I studied them. What did, what did you just say? Uh, yeah. His name was Gray Matter. And he was a knight, and he attacked us. I have his trading card right here. <laughs> <laughs> easy reference. Yes, for a very easy reference. <laughs> Unmistakable. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, the police took him in trusted police i guess i it's an oxymoron to me um but uh yeah he probably won't stay in the slammer for too long yeah i wouldn't put it past them uh that's surprising he's always been known to be one of the most upstanding knights out there you think he's was coerced one way or the other money can do a lot in regards to coercion you know that's definitely true money talks sometimes way too much <laughs> especially in Calibri yeah do you knights have like a network thing like have you heard anything from him recently or yeah, oh, check night book for yeah. us. <laughs> night, night <laughs> <laughs> or yeah. nighter or I, I nighter. Nighter. <laughs> or local nights in your area. <laughs> uh, I honestly probably have night to be random on the night book. I don't want this getting back to me and my popularity going down. Here's the thing: <laughs> gray matters old. This can't be a matter of money. The dude probably has to have a retire retirement account bigger than all of our savings combined if he was if he was doing something it's got to be for one reason or the other that's honestly only makes sense to him he Maybe. could have been threatened or he could have something <laughs> against the equalist party yeah that's another thing because if i'm not mistaken wasn't this guy uh not to be part of some faction known as the red sun no company, yes. Red Sun does have a lot of traditionalist backing. The problem is... Clover. Yes? You said Full Throttle was the one to uh, go with these Cavaliers, correct? Yes. Well, that's probably how news got out. Ah. Big Mouth. Yeah. Zero to one hundred mouth would be bad for this mission. <laughs> I love that phrase. <laughs> now I'm regretting not knocking his head around for running his mouth here and disturbing the peace. Now remind me to do it next time I see him. Or me. I'll Either one of us will be glad to do so. I mean, I'll look the other way. I'll look the other way. Clover speaks up. <laughs> Look the other way! Someone smack through a throttle. Everyone raises his hand or their uh, yeah. hand. He's got it coming, you know. I mean, if he you walked win, into my stuff. fist. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's coming, Karma. Mm. So we gotta it's go to coming. the dumpster. <laughs> I mean, I got to. Is it an actual dumpster? Don't worry about it. They're, they're, Don't worry they're about trash. him for the minute. He already blabbed. There's nothing more he could do. Yeah. Anyway. Drinks? <laughs> Shirley Temples. Shirley Temples. Two Shirley Temples and two Shirley Temples, please. <laughs> Waffle, I think you and I are on call. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
<laughs> we'll be back. Uh, you don't want to make it four? I, I got plenty of hands. <laughs> Next week, I'm making Shirley Temple's guys. Oh my god! Oh I my god! Oh my god. <laughs> Arsenal, did did you want a Shirley Temple as well? I'll pass. <laughs> Works for me. You gotta listen up one day, buddy. Not likely. Well, Sorry, did you, did you say Arsenal was a knight? Arsenal is a knight. Kellen, you don't need to make a knowledge check. Arsenal is an up-and-coming knight, one of the newest trading cards. You probably you have the limited edition one. Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. You should have gotten an autograph. Oh. <sighs> oh. He's right here. Excuse me, Mr. Arsenal. Um, I, I, I have your trading card. In fact, I have the limited edition. And then I like scroll through, and pick it up. They're like, oh, can I, can I get your autograph, Mr. Arsenal, sir? It, I mean, uh, <laughs> anything for Than. He had it. this kid's childhood. Man, must have been, life would have been nice. But at the same time, they didn't make me the man I am now. So I'm kind of glad I'm done. Kaylin's <laughs> <laughs> just like bouncing in his. <laughs> uh, uh, and your name? Um, my name is Kaylin. Uh, that's uh, C A L L O N. And my last name is Lao L A U. You don't have to use all of it though. Oh, 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 and my 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 um code name is Kazri. That's K-A-Z uh H-R-I. If you want to use that, I mean it's up to you, Mr. Arsenal. This is a pretty small card, kid. Uh, Gemma's just gonna put a hand on Kaylin's shoulder and just just kind of like remark to Arsenal, just he did his first job the other day. We're all yeah. very proud. Uh-huh. <laughs> the Chimera tracking group thing. <laughs> and now I'm in a political warfare, but who knows what'll happen next. Hey, uh, uh, this is when Phazor puts his hand <laughs> on Callan. Callan, this is thing called, hey kid, shut up. You don't go <laughs> spouting stuff like that. That's serious. Yeah, you sell that guy out there. You don't wanna, do you want to live in a dump? <laughs> you want to be like full throttle? You want to be like zero to 100 mouth in 0.1 seconds? And all of a sudden, you're in zero to 60, six feet under? You want to be that? Uh, no, sir. Oh, by the way, what, I'm pretty sure because you're so young, you don't know what six feet under means, do you? Uh... Well, I'm not six feet tall yet, but... It means dead. It means you're dead. And six feet under as in, somebody's gonna dig up your grave and they're gonna put you six feet under when you're dead. Oh, okay. You wanna well, be that? I... No, no, sir. They don't say everything. Shh. <laughs> Remember, opposite of zero to 100 mouth. Okay. 100 oh, to zero. So... Right. Just, just learn when to not say everything out loud. Okay. Uh, well, just ignore that, Mr. Arsenal, sir. I don't know how to keep this simple, then. Uh, he finishes up and hands it back to you, Callan. It says, uh, Callan, uh, can't wait to see you become a knight. And then his <laughs> signature. That's so cute! <laughs> and he's just beaming, and he's like, oh! Thanks! Uh... <laughs> Uh, any more or <laughs> um nope but thank you so much i will treasure this forever bryn <laughs> did you want an autograph I i'm good <laughs> well mm. you have fans <laughs> it's appreciated i always try to make an effort to come down and support up and coming cavaliers. We all start somewhere after all. And some of us never leave. 
Not with it. <laughs> not with that a- attitude. Heart shine, right? Yes. Uh, the ones who stay as the cavalier are the ones who give up too easily. You know what separates, besides the license, a true knight from a forever cavalier? Millions of dollars. <laughs> <laughs> That's cynical. I like that. <laughs> I'm gonna remember that one. <laughs> Not all of us have fancy scholarships, and I can support the people better on the ground when I'm not shackled down by sponsorships. Stop being depressing. Drink up. (laughs) (laughs) We weren't being depressing. Just uh, spitting facts. (laughs) Thanks, Faison. You know, you know what I'm about. Yes. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> uh, uh, Arsenal takes a quick look at his phone and it's like, well, I'd love to stay in chat, but gotta go. I'm sure I'll see you guys around pretty often. Seems like you guys are making a name for yourself. Yeah, good or bad. But uh, yeah, yeah, I'll try not to be so depressing next time. (laughs) Just remember to keep your heads clean. This is this is hard work. And it's dirty business. Yes. And you should have told that there's zero to 100 mouth at point one seconds there. Although I doubt that he has no ears to listen. So, <laughs> save, you should have saved that for him regardless. <laughs> Take care, Cavaliers. Hi, Mr. Arsenal. Thanks again. <laughs> he does a cool guy backwards wave to you, Cavaliers. <laughs> of course. <laughs> 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 So bad at so great matter, huh? That's eh. you want me to dig up what I can about what's been going on with him? It'll take some time, but I'm sure I'll find something. Discreetly, if you would, Clover. Greatly appreciated. Uh, <laughs> unless there's anything else. You guys get, you guys get another phone call from Esther. Oh, ding, ding, ring. <laughs> it's an Esther call. <laughs> uh, they give you a ring. Uh, I assume you guys answer. We? Oui? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I would, I would hope. <laughs> oh, not that person. No. <laughs> oh no, get him out. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, hey, uh, I know this is late, but, uh, I got a weird in for you guys. How familiar are you with, uh, Eden Pollitt? Can I roll to find out? Yeah! <laughs> How familiar <laughs> are we? Uh, resolve if your knowledge is based from uh, word of mouth. Intuition if your knowledge is based on book smarts. Okay. Repeat that. Uh, resolve if it's word of mouth. Intuition if it's your book smarts. To, to remember this knowledge. I got 14. Four, okay. You got a whole six. That's that um, many. That's a nine. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, so, uh, Heartshine, you 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 heard the name. There's some company, Paul. You know they're affiliated with Magic Lily. You provide uh, the missing details. Eden <laughs> Paulet are uh, like if you want to think like name brand of like um, mage uh, technology and uh, research. Uh, they're like they're Coke. They. <laughs> They're like Coke and they're like Pepsi. They are 
head honchos of you want uh some really good um schooling you want a really good job you want a uh, great magical backing you go to eden pollitt they've honestly been turning uh monopoly over especially in calibri uh, hey. eden pollitt the name rings a bell i can't i know he's a giant with mad with it's mage a, technology a, from word of mouth it's a thing it's a thing they kind of have a monopoly over magic stuff yeah <laughs> oh that's where i've seen the name yes yeah. i saw that on the cavalier weekly last week yes yes, yes. So I've heard about, uh, they want to make, and I know this is too well timed, so I, I hope you guys can get your detective work on, they want to make a generous donation to the Museum of History. Hmm. It's curiously timed. Precisely. But I don't think this could be a trap of some sort. I think they could let their guard down enough and you guys might be able to figure something out. Yeah, I think your word is a little shaky on it's not a trap because <laughs> we kind of hey. walked into a major trap when you when you offered us a, when we when Amisha came from you. Uh, you, we handled it. Let me elaborate. The call came from the son of the CEO himself. His name is Arcos Eden Pollitt. And if you know anything about him, he is a weasel in a trench coat. He he has a big mouth and uh, easily uh, easily trusts people. I don't think if this was actually a trap, Arcos wouldn't be the one to set this up. He's too gullible. I mean, he has a whole company at his disposal. Somebody like, has to have brains there. Can we, like, call him? Like, do we have to go there? I, I'll i give you his number if you want to call him first and at least feel him out. I'll minute. do it if we can do this on neutral grounds. I'll ask him to meet uh, you guys outside of... Uh, well, do you want to carry the conversation or shall I? What does everyone else think? Hey, Gemma, you're the, the person to carry this conversation. <laughs> <sighs> we'll get your back. All right. This is how it's going to go down. We're going to stipulate that we want to meet on some place that is not their company corporate grounds and uh, maybe not too many bodyguards, but I understand if he's in demand, that might be in their best interest. Um, here, Here is his number. He provides it. Okay. Uh, I'll leave it up to you. Uh, this... This is why you guys are the Cavaliers, and I'm, uh, <laughs> uh and I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, good luck. Thank you. <sighs> okay. Let's call him up, I guess. Oh. Ring, 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 ring. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you call up and you uh, you hear, hello, hello, hello. You have reached Arcos Eden Pollitt. Uh, what can I do you for? Oh my God. Well, uh, hello. This is Heartshine. Of uh, well, I I was referred to you by Esther Satari. They said you were uh, wanting to meet. Oh, you're you're Esther's contact. You you guys are the the actors that's that's you know they were doing for the museum theater play right play uh yes yep that that was us we're oh. we're cavaliers by day but uh yes <laughs> <laughs> <Here's> by night <laughs> you gotta, you gotta fold me. Uh, 
Well, what what can I do you for? Are you are you ready to come down the office? Come by the office? I was actually going to ask if we could meet maybe just outside the office or just somewhere that, uh, you know, you can bring your people, obviously, but... Uh, oh, a coffee. Yes, a, co- a coffee. If there is a trusted coffee place that you go to. Our trusted coffee places! <laughs> <laughs> As, as opposed to suspicious coffee places. You, <laughs> you, you guys don't trust me, do you? I don't trust anyone who has far, far more money than I will ever have in my entire life. And that is a personal policy. Please don't take it personally. I just want coffee. <laughs> and Bryn just wants coffee. <laughs> oh, sorry, Alez just wants coffee. <laughs> Time's of the essence, and I can't be away from the office for too long. But how about we do this? Uh, why don't I just meet you guys outside of Esther's office? I know where that is. Okay, that works for us. We can be there pretty soon. I won't even step a foot inside. I I will be, your eyes could be pinned on me the whole time. (laughs) And like I said, if there's anyone you need to bring, feel free to bring them as well. You guys thinking I'm some kind of bad guy? I'm not a bad guy. I know Eden Pollock's got their name drugged through the dirt and you know put a lot of mages out of business, but we try to keep it on the hush. Look, there's a lot more good with Eden Pollock than you guys are led to believe. And I just want to make the good foot forward, okay? Yeah, I mean, uh, the important thing is that you reached out uh, and we would be very amenable to discussion. Cool. Tomorrow, 10 a.m. Sound good? Okay, we'll see you then. See you then. Toodaloo. Toodaloo. I, oh my God, I don't like him. <laughs> Is that thing on? Kittle. Luckily, <laughs> did, did, we hang up? did you hang up? I did hang up. <laughs> Luckily. <laughs> I'm so happy I got to show you to you guys. Uh, I will. That's the proper answer. I mean, yes, yeah. you're right. You are absolutely right. You should not trust this man within a mile of your life. Especially his last few words in the midst of all that. Oh, we put some majors out. We put some majors oh. out of business, but that's on the hush and the low. We're it's not on the low if you say that. Yeah, he was a poopy face. He was a poopy face, I agree. I don't think he's going to bring any coffee for us, so we'll have to go beforehand. <laughs> yeah. I'll just take tea. But, um... Also, who says toodaloo? Anyway. That was the most suspicious thing I've ever heard. I don't trust rich people, and I don't trust rich people who are dangling jobs in front of me. Let's just go, let's hear him out as a favor for Asta. Um, hopefully it'll be better and we can walk away with this with, uh, minimal damage to our reputation and pocketbooks. Agreed. And I'm <laughs> not saying anything, but let's kind of do it on the side of caution. Remember, we still have targets on our head from yep. the previous mission going forward. We need to lay low for a bit. So, if... We're going in with suspicion. It's it's understandable why we are. Uh, also, we should look up if um, Eden Pollitt has any dealings with Red Sun <sighs> or contracts. If we can, um, I'll put in a word with Clover. She can see if she can get something. I'm right here! <laughs> oh, my God. oh my God. Uh, I told so... I told you to stop doing that. Oh my God. Clover, <laughs> as if that's not so creepy. All right. Yes, Clover. Um, if you could do that, that'd be great. Please don't do that. Again. She probably wasn't there the whole time. I just forgot to move her icon. <laughs> Clover. Clover. Me? I'm going to say this. Do that to the wrong person, they're going to attack you. That's not a joke. I will, I promise on my life, I will never sneak up on you, Faison. Maybe I should stop having our important job phone calls in the middle. (laughs) 
<laughs> I, I assumed we were having in the conference room where people have these discussions. <laughs> there we go. Retcon. <laughs> anyway, uh, is there anything else before I move the scene along? Nope. 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 Good. A different track yeah let's let's do this one again oh <laughs> oh did you like the other one no no, no I, I was saying this is a nice one <laughs> yeah <laughs> uh let's see just give me one second uh you guys keep me on my toes i like that <laughs> 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 Sometimes, sometimes Zach doesn't get to the scenes he wants. Sometimes he <laughs> gets the scenes they want, and that's a okay. The uh, joys of being the DM. Yeah, yeah, you know, it's always about improvising. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I, I, nah, I'm being sarcastic. I, I wouldn't have any other way. Uh, let's see, I just gotta go to the right map. Only me being a smartass. We should go to the office and Zach being like, God. <laughs> now I gotta make a coffee shop, Matt. I was like, coffee shop? You guys, you guys think I prepare a lot more than I actually do. <laughs> I mean, you could use whatever and say it's a coffee shop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, uh, move you guys over. Uh, you guys, uh, park your butts over, and you see out of this. This, you know, this slick ride steps out. <laughs> yes, Arcos. Uh, as he makes oh, I his... do not like how he looks. He looks like a mean person. Ugh. Oh, uh, the art you, is you nice. How, how, how he looks? What if he looks towards you now? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you only um, saw the back of his head. <laughs> the art is nice, by the way. I mean, his. <laughs> Feel. Go support Hart Butler. They do great stuff. <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, they motion forward and just like, oh, thank you guys for being right on time. I apologize for uh, running a little late, but uh, it's you know busy, <laughs> we understand busy in the you. Office and all that. Yeah, you must be very busy. So we appreciate you coming out here to meet us. I just have one favor to ask. So this donation was something I had to weasel out of my father. Being heavily a traditionalist himself and telling me about how this project's a benefit to everybody, I said, well, why not everybody? This, this is a, he, he reveals something. It looks like a statue, a miniaturette statue. From what I am told, this is a miniature focus used by Sovereign Mages a long time ago, even dating back to the uh, Amasterian Civil War. But I have no data to confirm or deny this. While many of my researchers are ma very magically inclined, uh, a focus that are used for combat purposes is not exactly our specialty, so to say. You mentioned being Cavaliers over the phone, am I right? I did. So, it's a selfish request, but I only ask uh, to make this a learning opportunity for myself. If you could just channel your magic through it, one way or the other, and just see <laughs> if it feels like it gives you a little bit of edge, a little bit of control of your magic, an extra bit of power, something. And you must have mages at your disposal. I mean, you yeah. work for a mage equipment company. Like I said, it was a selfish request I made to my father to try to get this over to Esther. But the reason of that is a lot of the more uh, battle-inclined mages are those who uh, graduate and don't stay at the office for research purposes. They either take up their own cavalier ship, uh, transition into knighthood, uh, but 
I only manage a section of researchers. And researchers make the best mages only for so long. Most of the mages that uh, graduate with us that aren't battle, uh, battle ready are the kind of mages you see running theaters, running bakeries, running their own kinds of shops. True. Um, well, I can certainly take a look. Um, I would like to just look over this thing. Uh, give me... Oh, what are you doing? Are you just kind of looking at it? Are you going to try to use... I'm not going to touch it yet. I just want to look at it. <laughs> Suck your soul. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't uh, trust it. Uh, give, give me... Let's see. Do you want to, like... Are you going to try to look it over and, like, identify qualities about it? Or do you want to, like, use your knowledge to see if you recognize anything about it it's like confirming or denying i uh, yeah i would say my personal story. knowledge via experience roll me a knowledge roll uh some experience that i could sound like intuition like experience of the mind or resolve or experience of just um your person and talking to others whatever you feel let's just try it six <laughs> <laughs> yeah i don't know uh it's a thing Anyone else want to take a look? Can I try, like, I research a bunch of stuff, so I guess I'll do intuition? <laughs> yeah, give me a knowledge roll. Yeah. With your intuition being the, uh... You know! Ooh! Oh! You I, know. Intuition's, like, my best stat. <laughs> okay, wow. You know, uh, for sure, uh, that Sovereign Mages did, in fact, use, uh focuses in their battle you cannot confirm or deny that this is a art like this was a focus that they used but your guts and your uh like knowledge would lead you to like 70 80 percent say arcos got his information wrong and this okay. is not sovereign in nature and it's just something else probably <laughs> You don't know what, <laughs> but you do not think this is a sovereign artifact. Okay. Do I think it's safe? <laughs> <laughs> I don't like no. that face. I really hate that thing. <laughs> no, don't touch it. You, you rolled a 15. <laughs> you, you know that in, in the intent of like this to be a magical focus, it is and it isn't at the same time. You think if you were to channel like a technique or your magic through it, it wouldn't hurt you. This, there's enchantments on here. You know what? Roll me a mystic arts check. It'll be an intuition. Okay. I'm gonna give you a plus two bonus because you rolled really high. Okay. And this is the magical qual, this is, so that was the knowledge of this artifact itself. This is the magical enchantment and quality you know about the artifact. Intuition again. Um, if you think she she's using her knowledge, yeah. Yeah, that's what I think. I just Nine. wanted to make sure. I'll give you eleven. <laughs> um, yeah, you do know for a fact that this you can guarantee. I will use the word guarantee. <laughs> this will not hurt you. <laughs> will it hurt other people, Zach? It, it has the possibility to hurt other people because it is a magical focus. A focus that's you... fair. That's definitely fair. Okay, yeah, that's that's fair. That's you a fair loophole. You can confirm this is a focus. It okay. was not a sovereign focus. It is a magical focus of some kind and not a magical focus of some kind. What else is it is trying to focus, you do not know. Okay. Um, it appears to be safe, I think. If we want to try, I don't know. <laughs> uh, so you want someone with magic to touch it? <laughs> yeah! Are, are you skilled as a, as a magician? <laughs> Am I skilled? No. No, I'm not skilled. <laughs> as a magician. I was hoping so much you were going to lie to <laughs> I almost did a spit take. <laughs> oh, that was so good, though. Oh, I love you, Kaylin. I love uh... you, Kaylin. <laughs> Like, I mean, I, maybe, isn't it like a blood thing? Like, don't you have to like- Maybe you haven't it? found it yet. What? Like, he's still- Yeah, I, 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 I think it is. Did Sovereign just use blood? I don't even know that. 
First things first, Brynn, could you confine, confide in the other mage user we have here in Gemma, what you know, before we do anything else? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna like lean over. <laughs> I'm like, Whisper I don't it to me. Yeah. I don't think it's sovereign, but it looks safe. I don't know. I don't want to say that out loud. All right. <laughs> uh, I guess I'm just going to go. <laughs> Jenna is going to look at it and she's going to gesture, like, give it to me. And she's going to touch it. Give me your phone. <laughs> give me your phone. What games Ar are on your phone? Argos <laughs> hands, hands it over to you. And as soon as it makes contact with you, nothing happens. It, it, I think just... it's safe. <laughs> well, um, I mean, it probably has to channel. Probably has to channel something. What yeah, about I'm... healing? Let's try channeling healing and see how that'll go. Okay. Oh. Are you going to use your technique? Yes. Ooh. Go for it. I'm going to try healing heart. Hold up. Hold it. Hold it. <laughs> Hold it. I, I love you, Paul. <laughs> and, uh, just so you know, I've been feeling another presence around the corner from here. Huh. So, uh, mister, are you really alone here? Uh, I guarantee there's nobody else in my car and I went with no one. Uh, I didn't say your car. Were you followed? Were you followed? Or were I... you sure? Are you sure you're all alone? I didn't. I didn't even tell. That's a lie. I did tell my father I was going to make this deal. I did not tell him I was going to leave the office to make the deal. If someone followed me, it was of their own volition. Um... Okay, let's stop this right now. You, whoever is here around the corner, short yourself. Now, we know you're here. Uh, are you, are you trying to call out to someone around the corner? There's someone here. Okay. Are you, I think I have most of them out revealed. Are you referring to this gentleman? Yes. <laughs> uh, Unless okay. that's a god, but someone is here. And we are clearly, you're clearly not here by yourself. Office. <laughs> uh, since you are shouting that out loud, I will uh, go ahead and move him over. Uh, uh, what? What's going on? <laughs> Who are you? Uh, I'm just uh, your normal, av av average, run-of-the-mill mage. That's that's all I am. I'm. I just. Uh, I'm just your average mage, I promise. Most people don't use average to describe themselves. Maybe you should touch yeah. this thing. Yeah. Hey, do you want to touch a really cool stone? It's oh. good for mages. It amplifies power or something. Yeah, it's probably safe. Um, At your own risk, though. Um, In a contract. <laughs> what, what kind of mage are you? What kind of mage are you, sir? Oh, uh, I, I rent, I used used to run a bakery until uh, I got run out from an Eden Poet Scion. I apologize that that happened to you, sir. Ick. Yeah. Gory? Yeah, um, I used to run, don't mind if I do. That name rings a bell. That, that is, in fact, a bakery that used to exist. Uh, well, I don't. Uh, how long ago did it exist? Um, how, how big are you guys on sweets? Um, I think Gemma's probably. <laughs> I think Bren too likes sweets. Kaylin loves sweets. <laughs> uh, we're well, going with that information. Um, if you guys had had, don't mind if I do, as your favorite bakery of some kind you would probably hear the news that it's been closed for honestly a few weeks now like maybe two two and a half at most uh but again since 
closing of a bakery doesn't usually make the news. Uh, hmm. It was more so at the time you guys had a free time to go grab a little treat. Yo, I, I like uh, that place. Yeah, I I used to uh, run the place. Uh, the head the head baker. Uh, my name's Jabari Morio. Nice I've... to meet you. <laughs> well, uh, um, what what are you uh up to here? Okay, can you keep a secret? I'm very good with secrets. I, ever since I got fired, the things I've been doing are not necessarily legal, and I, it's, it's been weighing on my heart so much, and my boyfriend works inside, and I, I swore today was the day I was going to tell him and come clean about what's going on with me. And I am a weenie, and I can't bring myself to go inside! And maybe they're hearing me yell outside like a maniac, and I hope they don't come outside! How, how, how do you tell a loved one that you got fired, and you're trying your best to stay afloat, even if it's... bad? You love me if they'd want to know. I think you could just say that. Yeah. Right? <laughs> just, uh, just, just oh, no, tell them about your illegal bread. <laughs> <laughs> my, no, my bread isn't illegal. Uh, it's, it's everything else I'm doing. You guys, you, you guys aren't police officers or cavaliers, right? We're gonna turn me in. Oh no, we're actors. No. Yeah, LARPers. <laughs> we're LARPers. <laughs> that explains yeah. the fancy costumes. Yeah, we role, we role play. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, like the, the, you know, like those board games. Uh, yeah. Did, did, uh, goblins and goblins. Goblin, <laughs> goblins and goblins. Yes, my favorite. Griffins and gargoyles. Griffins and gargoyles. <laughs> it's Riverdale here. <laughs> um, listen. Um, I'm not good at these. Ugh. Uh, maybe, maybe just, um, this sounds like you're going through a lot. Maybe just to be honest, I don't know. Yeah, like... I would ever... say honesty is your key here. Honest, they'll probably, just be yeah, they'll probably be, like, maybe a little disappointed, but, like, also... You know, and you could bake them something really nice, so then they'll feel better. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah, legal. I always feel better after, like, I eat a cupcake or something. Mm. Just saying, I would like cupcakes. Y you could write, I'm sorry on the cupcake. <laughs> Mor Morgan uh. always really loved my cupcakes. Oh, why didn't I bring... That, that, that kind of feels like a bribe, though, if I just kind of soften the blow with cupcakes. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, maybe give it a minute. Um, but, uh, listen, we didn't mean to, you know, startle you. Uh, so I, you're... I got really scared. Uh, I heard a booming voice and I. Ari, I, it's I, part of our LARP. I, yeah. I, I, thought, uh, I thought I was going to get arrested or something. Or... <laughs> no, sir, sad. No, you're not in trouble. So Just, wait. you know, we thought, hey. You were here. I mean, you don't understand. So many mages have been round up on the street as if it was nothing, as if they were like illegal fluorine mage enclave members, and it's uh, it's all Eden Paul's fault. Oh, ah. I still have my bakery. Uh, is the Eden Paul guy do saying or doing anything? <laughs> His mouth is just like, <laughs> it looks like an inwards, like inverted you as he's puckering his lips, <laughs> not knowing what he's trying to say. Just like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I wish I had a silence <laughs> I could use just in case. 
<laughs> um, he, he's sitting there like, I should have, I should have pushed to not leave the office. This was a bad idea. <laughs> I think maybe we should get back to our role play. I'm so sorry for getting you dragged into this. And I think you should go and tell the truth and then maybe bake cupcakes later. Uh, let's see. Who's, who was telling Jabari to go inside? <laughs> it was all of you guys? Yeah. Uh, More or less. We're gonna make this fun then. Uh, I'm gonna teach you guys about these assist actions. Oh, all, all together, uh, as as an assist, and uh, you can spend your turn uh, giving a plus two uh, to a character, as well as taking the best role out of all of you guys. I like. Oh. You can... So I think this is great to almost guarantee <laughs> the success. Yeah, teamwork. Uh, we all get ones. <laughs> Uh, go, go ahead and all Don't give me a roll, us. and uh, we'll add a plus two for each additional character. So in total, one leader, two uh, followers. We'll say Brent's leading since that was the last remark they made. Okay. And we'll uh, add six to it, and we'll take the best of the roll out of all your four. What are we what rolling? Are we rolling? Uh, this is a negotiation, and it sounds like you guys are kind of using your resolve, but you can mm. make the argument if it's something else. Okay, I, I got a seven. Seven. Ha <laughs> ha. Bryn. You are yeah. killing it. Whoa. Bryn <laughs> just <laughs> coming in and destroying. Yeah. <laughs> Princess to the rescue. <laughs> I think uh, it's just because you guys keep having me roll things that are my good stats. <laughs> this was a very easy roll anyway. I just wanted to make you guys roll. But uh, Javari, like, you know what? Thanks for the pep talk. Okay. We're going to... I'm going to... Tell you everything, I promise. Woo! Yeah, woo! Woo! you can do it. You just pretend it. you're like go, go. Just tell your boyfriend you love him and just be honest. I will. Uh, thanks for yelling at me, uh, making me scared, <laughs> and giving me a pep talk. That was the weirdest exchange I've ever had in my life. You no guys problem. take care with your weird role play. <laughs> well. No problem. Uh, <laughs> We take cupcakes as thank yous! Hiya! I attack for 14 damage. <laughs> <laughs> thank you guys for not ratting me out. I, I honestly feel bad. It is not. He is speaking the truth. A lot of innocent mages have been losing their jobs. And that at least is not our mission statement here at Eden Pollock. It's just a, just a side, side effect. <laughs> should we get on with trying it? Do you want to do it, Heartshine, or should I? Oh my goodness, I forgot that's why I'm here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> all right. You're in a hurry. We're in a do hurry. Your healing? I'm going to try my healing. I'm actually going to, is it okay if, if I like step away like yeah. 10 feet? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Those Arcos will even step away. Okay. You, you want your room? You get your room. Okay. All right. I'm going to use my healing heart technique. Okay. Go ahead and roll the technique. Uh, <laughs> restores. Oh, you you don't roll for. Oh, the, yeah. It's not a roll. That's correct. Yeah. Roll what the what is what is what is associated with your spirit? Um. Yes, I think it is. Hold on, I lost it. I. Yeah. Go ahead and roll uh, your spirit. spirit. Yeah. And we'll treat it as the roll itself. Okay. How do I roll spirit? Aura? Uh, aura, yeah. Is it aura? Okay. It is, it is your aura. Ha ha ha. See, I'm learning. I got a six! <laughs> <laughs> if it's gonna go wrong, it'll go wrong now. No, it's just, there's just, there's nothing. Uh, you clearly don't think this magic has been helping you. Uh, you, if, if it was up to you, you think this uh, focus was broken. If it wasn't for the fact uh, Bryn told you, it is real. Well, Bryn thinks this thing has something. Uh, didn't do anything for that. Maybe it's just because it wasn't a damage, but I don't feel comfortable trying that in the middle of a city. I could or in your office for that matter. I've, I've wasted enough of your guys' time, uh, but I hope Esther enjoys the donation. Uh, what, uh, Bryn, you wanted to say something? 
I, I could try my healing if we wanted to. I don't know. <laughs> and the healing might not be the problem here. Hmm. Have have any other like mage people touched this thing before, or are we just the first ones? Any pigs? I mean, thousands, like hundreds, probably of hmm. sovereign mage, uh, sovereign nation mages probably touched it a long time ago. <laughs> Bryn, do you wanna do you wanna dispute Bryn, that? Yeah, jump in, please. <laughs> we. <laughs> you don't have to. <laughs> Which of your researches told you that? I mean, I'm not an expert on it, so I don't know. I was just curious about it. I was hoping to learn more. Did you know if there was like any specific nation or? Yeah. I mean, it is fascinating. If you have any more information, I'd just be interested. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. What, what, what was that? To, I, I, like this is me, Zach, not hearing what that. <laughs> Sorry, what that was. Um, <laughs> Brent is trying to be really cool about not saying it's fake, and instead asking like, um, what? Okay. Like, what did the researchers find out about it? Like, uh, yeah, like what? who told you it was? Sovereign? Yeah, <laughs> and like, do you know like which sovereign nation specifically? Do you know anything else about it? We're just curious, just no reason. <laughs> uh, so these. So from my understanding, this used to be when uh, uh, many individuals who are now uh, recognized as part of the Sovereign Nation uh, used to operate in Calibri, and they had, uh, I, I guess, their homes here, and uh, Eden Pollock took purchase of that land. I was passed that information from my father, and that we got uh, a ton of these back at the office and we were trying to figure out the mechanism to most uh, facilitate it as a magical focus. I will give you that as much. You guys have been very patient with me and also didn't wrap me out. Uh, <laughs> that this is supposed to be... My job is to figure out how this magical focus works. It's been very difficult, but the overall goal is to allow it to channel most anyone's magic even those who are not magically inclined and never studied whether that be through the arts or through a university huh, that's, huh. That, well that's, that's all i could really say without breaking uh my own nda so <laughs> Uh, I hope you don't. We're actors. We understand we NDAs. Bringing it back. <laughs> this episode is very meta. <laughs> it is. <laughs> uh, this very meta. <laughs> so you weren't able to figure out how to activate it as a focus either. I take it. I mean, we're just cavaliers. It's not like um, we're beating your teams of researchers and practical stuff. Maybe we Esther will know more. Maybe or Esther maybe will know more. Like a magical <laughs> word, like alakazam. Yeah. <laughs> or like, I don't know, like an old sovereign leader, if that, mm -hmm. you know, is is truly linked to that. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you guys don't know me any more information than this. I just wanted my to push my father to go up to his words when he said this project was going to be a benefit to everybody. Hmm. And if, if that was the case, at least we're turning some piece of Esther's history back to them. I don't want this political drama between them and the people who support my father to cause a strain and, you know having a working relationship actually used to uh work together way back in the day this was a long time ago hmm. that's interesting hmm. i'm i'm surprised they didn't hang up immediately and i made not a totally bad impression well i mean they were saying you would you were good for it and i trust them um, I'm glad that you're doing something. 
I just wanted to help Esther out in one way or the other and prove my father's not a bad guy. There's a lot of, like I said, a lot of bad news about her company, but it's not all bad. Um, I have a question. Sure. <laughs> okay, shoot. Um, the Baker guy said that a lot of mages were kind of disappearing and stuff like that. Um, and he said it was like, mm, your father's fault or something. So, <laughs> um, just wondering uh, what that was about. Okay, uh, I don't think that's exactly what the Baker said. Uh, it is true, it is unfortunate news that a lot of uh, graduates from Eden Pollitt schools and research facilities have been taking over businesses that belong to the mages. What is not our fault is there have been more arrests in the news regarding illegal mage operations, specifically illegal flooring mage encla enclave members. How familiar mm. are you guys with illegal fluorine mage enclaves? I'm to roll. <laughs> uh, yeah, I want to roll. That's a roll. roll Intuition, I'm guessing. Oh, I am not familiar at all. Uh, I got a three. <laughs> I was think. Uh, and Lily uh, being the brain cell out of everybody. <laughs> uh, this isn't hard news, but uh. <laughs> Most of you guys uh, don't know much about the illegal fluorine mage enclave members, other than the fact that they exist. <laughs> uh, Lily, you know, uh, they are cruel mages that operate with one goal and one goal only, and that is to facilitate uh, the, the exploration of every mage, uh, every magical discipline, necromancy, divination, enchantment, uh, destruction, all schools of magic and push the boundaries that uh, no knowledge between any of the schools is lost. They usually mm. do so through very illicit and um, horrendous means, even experimenting on uh, mortals as necessary. Okay, so no ethics, got it. Yeah. No, no <laughs> ethics whatsoever. And uh, you do know, just even with that, a lot of the mages getting arrested are clearly not that, and it's a problem with the mm. police. Yeah. Mm. Uh -huh. You know, there's this thing that two things can be true. Your father, and his company putting a lot of mages out of business and police doing that could both be true. Who's to say that uh, there might not be any dealings? I don't imagine your father was not into politics or didn't play politics. <sighs> My father is not a politician, no. I didn't say he was a politician. I say play the politics. It doesn't take a politician to play politics. Especially with deep pockets. Yes. It's Money talks. There's a very famous song. I don't know if you know. <laughs> Cash rules everything around me. Cream get the money. Dollar dollar bills. <laughs> I don't know if you know that, but it's very true. <laughs> I cannot say any more about what goes on in our eternal affairs other than uh, what yeah, I've told you. Of course. Uh, our mean, job here was all about this thing and we did that and you're gonna give it to Esther and uh, they'll figure out more. So we're done, right? But uh yeah just just keep that in mind, you know? Um it's not saying that your your father isn't a good person, just that there might be some things behind the scenes. I trust my father, but I also trust that there's a lot of wrong in the world that I also want to see corrected. And this is a step, you know? You're taking action, and I think that's important. Just know that you have a friend within Eden Pollux, and if there's anything else I could do for you, I, I have the strength to pull. I hope this 
all of this and coming here and trying to be as agreeable as possible shows that I, I'm not as big of a weasel and uh, <laughs> all this nonsense with our company. Like, I just never said that. It's okay. <laughs> if but I wasn't I'm... a researcher, I would be a PR marketer. <laughs> but I, I'm sorry to hear that you go through all this, and thank you for playing by our rules for the time being. And that goes a long way. Thank you. If it gets you guys to trust me, then absolutely. Is there is there anything else? I did not expect this meeting to take so long. <laughs> you didn't bring any coffee, right? <laughs> <laughs> we'll get coffee on the way home, Brynn. Nope. I, nope. I think we got everything. Yeah. We got everything that we could. I I will bear, uh, uh, bear all of you adieu then. Toodaloo. Oh, toodaloo. <laughs> he goes into his car. Uh... Toodaloo. <laughs> Isn't his office like right there? I mean, I kind of like him a little more, but like not that much. Like, oh no, the, the, this office is uh, um, Esther's. Esther's. Oh, Esther's right. office. Okay, not right. his. That's fine then. I mean, I still only like him a little more. <laughs> Honestly, that's suspicious. He couldn't get from anyone from a mage technology based yeah. corporation. I to try that thing. Or a Maybe sovereign mage, if he thought that it belonged to sovereign nations. Yeah, especially a, a mage technology corporation would. Don't you think they were no sovereign mages instead of coming up to us? Yeah. Uh, yeah, why yeah let's, you let's find some cavaliers. No one will miss them, right? I guarantee that's what it was. But it didn't even do anything. It might have if we use the wrong magic if that's what he was looking for i wasn't gonna do anything but healing magic i don't trust it <laughs> yeah, so this we... just reeks <laughs> you got a we got a few minutes left <laughs> let's get coffee uh, we're gonna go get coffee uh, are you guys not gonna drop off uh, it to Esther since you guys know? It's oh, sovereign? did he? Oh, he uh, gave it to us. us? I he, guess he, let's. Okay, no, I wasn't the, sure. The terms of the deal was he was gonna give okay. it to you regardless right. to give I to Esther. I thought it was just to test it. Um, no, yeah, that, that was I think just a let's go to Esther and then we can ask yeah. if they want it. <laughs> yeah, well, Esther help me on the way. Side. Well, it's right here. <laughs> we'll get coffee in the lobby. <laughs> you, know, yeah. you know what? You know museums what? often have little cafes. <laughs> you just see the blinds open up and oh my God. Just standing there and they oh my they're God. just Are you they, there the whole time? <laughs> their face is just there's just face is just blank. <laughs> and they're just staring just like that. That that was awkward. <laughs> the Cavaliers were not negotiators! <laughs> I think I did okay. Uh, yeah, you did. You did beautiful. You're a great person to talk to and have around. Your your bubbly yeah. personality will soothe any heart. Mm, yes, Brynn, I do agree. Especially your intuition probably saved us <laughs> from certain doom. Realizing that that was probably not what he thought it was. If it was. Hmm. Well, let's go show it to Esther, and then uh, you know she can, or they can decide if it's uh, if it's worth keeping. Let's do that. Yeah. Who has it? Is it Brynn? I'm probably still Gen holding it. <laughs> yeah, Gemma was the last Gemma. one. Are you guys gonna go on inside? The entrance is right over here. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, oh, huh? they're staring out the window. I. <laughs> I was imagining, like, they yeah. opened the shades and, like, they were just there and they were like, hello. 
<laughs> Let me in. Why are you closed? <laughs> Open your doors to the public. <laughs> you, you guys uh, stand uh, out there while Jabari is just like, oh, mom, 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 mom. And Morgan's like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, you can do it. Okay, um, Morgan? Yes? <gasps> I lost my job. That's it? <laughs> <laughs> I I thought you'd be mad. You you've been weird on every you've been weird at every single date we've been having so far? And it's because you lost your job? It's a big deal! It's a big deal, yes, but <laughs> We'll get through it. What are you doing now? Help. Help. Uh, he's looking for another job. Right? I think it's our cue to go. Okay. Not I our tried. business, not our problem. He's looking yeah. for another job. Oh, hey, you got this. You got this. Good luck. Oh, got Before this. We're going to go okay. role play deeper into the building. You're, mm -hmm. you're, you're Esther's 1030, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's Presumably. all. <laughs> that's all. Go on through then. Night. Pleasure to meet you. We got to talk at some other point. <laughs> uh... Give him a cupcake. Okay, bye. Or two. <laughs> there you guys go. <laughs> all right. I'm going to go on in. I sit on a chair. I'm going to sit on the desk. <laughs> I don't know. I I accidentally did something and I don't know where I went. There oh, are. there you are. There you go. Uh, okay. Uh, we. <laughs> I'm thinking about Jim leaning on the desk like like yeah. a bad situation. Yeah, I am, and I I just like plunk it on the desk. I go here you go. Uh, you said this was sovereign artifact. Bryn didn't think that was accurate. Esther, uh, did I do my homework for Esther? Let me see. Uh, I almost did. Oh, I did. I did. I did enough of my homework. <laughs> I could do this. Yeah, no, this isn't sovereign at all. That's what I thought. I couldn't be sure, but. Ah. <sighs> You know where this, you know where this is going? The trash? trash? Dumpster! Dumpster! <laughs> Dumpster. Uh, and she opens the window and throws it uh, all the way across yeah! this wall and it shatters. Oh my god. And she closes the window. So I have a question. If it was sovereign, would it have broke that easily? Oh, oh lord no. Okay. Yeah, I feel like the Sovereign know what they were doing. Uh, so it was just a random item that he thought was a focus? What if it's manufactured? What did he What did he say? Did he say it was Sovereign? Yeah. I did hear on the news that they did acquire Sovereign land. I'm starting to think there's something there to dig. Because if Maybe. it is Sovereign land... I would have had a sovereign artifact in my hand. And it wasn't. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. You got a dig? Anyways, uh, I got a very important job for you. <laughs> uh, who wants to escort a VIP? Is it a knight? Uh, it is another cavalier. A it VIP a, cavalier? It is a ca it is a Oh, I hate escort jobs. This one should be uh a treat. They uh they are an influencer. Oh. Oh, you don't uh. like influencer? You're not you're not big on uh on nightbook? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not on Wait, night books. Do I look like a knight? I mean, anybody can use night books. You just gotta <laughs> si sign the little disclaimer that says you agreed to show everyone that you are not a knight, and people will make fun uh. of you. <laughs> I love 
love that the terms and conditions says people will make fun of you. <laughs> people people will make, make fun, of you. fun of you. This is not a joke. I wish Twitter did that. <laughs> it tells you to be able to make fun of. <laughs> also, it is. Well, if they're uh, on Facebook, are they a knight, like a, a high end cavalier that's about to turn into a knight? They said VIP. <laughs> they do yeah. have a big social media following. So yeah, they could okay. probably choose it, but they really take a they really take a, a influencing and uh, keeping up social media very seriously. And uh, I have a sneaking suspicion with everything she stomps on the desk. Everything has been going on. She's gonna need gonna need the exports. It's kind of making the news that she's flying into Calibri. So mm. okay. Mm -hmm. okay. to make sure that they get back to the office. Uh, John. I'm sure she could even make it worth your while. Sounds good. Okay. And with that, I think we will uh, go ahead and call it off. You guys know your next job. Yay! Yay! Uh, <laughs> hooray! Mostly on time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh... I, I now realize uh, even more so the stuff I planned. It's gotta be. <laughs> you guys keep me more on my toes than any other group, and it's been interesting. Yay! Yes. Yay. <laughs> uh, so, uh, I think it's time to announce uh, a special guest that's gonna be with us. Please, everybody, yeah. chat, come next time. Uh, we have a very special guest that we can announce right now. Their name is Vanessa Haas. Uh, Hoskins. They are a uh, writer for many of uh, Paizo stuff. They are the ones be behind uh, Pathfinder, Starfinder, Pathfinder 2. Uh, they are a great role player. They have an amazing character you do not want to miss. Uh, we're so happy to have them, and you will see them next time on Valor Live. Yay! Woo! 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 Yeah, <laughs> do we have any fan art to show? Do! Yeah! Uh, Charu, if you uh, want to unmute, I think you uh, have the whole stream at your disposal. You can tell us uh, what's on the screen. It's Fan Art Friday. Fan yeah. Art Friday. Fan, fan Art, art Friday. <laughs> I'm I'm losing like all of my mind over these beautiful little dudes. Yes, they're so cute. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, just gotta wait, uh, Charu. I believe you you're able to put it up on the screen, correct? Yes. Yeah. No. <laughs> yep. Oh so, my god. Oh She's my so god. <laughs> so this first piece is from uh, Cosmo uh, Noodles. They have a Thank lot of you. cool uh, noodles they wanted to show us. Thank you so much, Cosmo. Thank you. Oh, I Thank love you. Oh, there's oh man. Oh, oh. the Shirley Temples. <laughs> <laughs> Give me I a am... job, nerd! <laughs> <laughs> I love the threatening JoJo dog, too. Yeah. It's excellent. Love it. Oh my god, it is. The world oh. is kinda your oyster? <laughs> <laughs> kinda. Uh, this piece is from Helix Hawk. Thank you, Helix Hawk. I, oh, I, thank I really you, hope. Helix Hawk. Uh, he's baby. He is baby. Protect the baby. Full oh, baby. And we have another piece of last minute fan art. Last minute. Woo! Incredible. Uh, I'm just waiting for that to come on screen. Oh, oh. oh we got to get oh. that in frame. Yeah, there we go. Oh, it looks so Bring good. Yeah. 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 All is fighting glory. Again, from Cosmo, we got a phase Thank on. you. Oh, oh it's so, so beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, Thank so you. incredible. Thank you. If, mm -hmm. if you guys would like to contribute your own fan art or talk to us, talk Austin about game design, uh, talk to a lot of people in our fantastic Valor Tabletop RPG server. I'm sure we could get the link to that one more time. Uh, very, <laughs> very nice community. Uh, you could talk a whole bunch. We'll try to pop in there, answer any questions you guys might post. Uh, at the same time, uh, another shameless plug, we are using the Valor Heroic RPG system. Please check us, check it out on valorousgames.com, uh, as well as uh, if you want the uh, 
PDF copy. Go to Drive Through RPG. You can get the digital edition there. I gotta plug that. It's a really fun system, guys, and I'm sure everybody, all the players here, can uh, exclaim how much fun they're having. Uh, with yeah, the system. absolutely. Yes. Yeah, it's great. Yes. Uh, but <laughs> otherwise, we won't keep you guys too late. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Uh, unless there's anything else, I think we yeah. just gotta say goodbye to chat. Thank, yeah. you, thank you. Thank you guys thank you. so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. Yes, all, oh, of our, yeah. all of our Twitters are going to be coming up to follow yeah. us. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Follow you guys, like see more of you guys. Otherwise, absolutely. Uh, take care, and uh, we'll see you next Friday. Bye. 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 Bye.